Your Majesty, the prince will be with you shortly. Why do you make it a point to disgrace the name of this family every day? Sorry, eh? That is why you don't have hairs here. No single hair. Thank you. Shame Thank you. you. I like I it more and more like you. this. Shame on you. Shame on you. Eh? Eh? You Hold it there right now. Hold it. Yes, I'm talking to you. Ashamed of what exactly? I want to ask you. Ashamed of what? You are doing your baby like this and you're asking me a question. What question is that? Will someone be ashamed of fighting an evil woman and an evil child in our own house? No, I'm asking you. Wait, Tell me. Yeah. Yeah. Is it me? You are calling an evil woman. Yeah. You, you have seen it. You, oh, you think I don't know. Hey, I was say, I say, I say. You think I don't know? I know that you shamed him with your dark powers. And you also make him to take responsibility of this black witch standing here. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Chalo, chalo, chalo. Did I hear you well? You heard me loud and very clear. Yes. Oh, you think I am afraid of you? Or you think I'm afraid of these eyes? You think you can shame me with them? You have just told a lie. Oh, I say you have told a black fat white lie. That is what you have just said. Shalom. I am waiting for you. I am waiting for you. I am waiting for you. Yes? I, I, I'm sure you are ready to carry the market you bought for yourself. And I'm very sure your daughter has the goods to supply. Why are you running? Why are you people running? Why are you running? Why are you running? Why are you running? Why are you running? But I know they are not coming back soon. 
Dad, see, I have to go now. It's 9, 9, 9 a.m. already. I have to leave. Don't be stupid, Anthony. Is that all you have to say? Dad, I don't understand the reason for this argument this morning. What do you want me to say? What else do you want me to say? You don't understand? Now tell me. What is stopping you from proposing marriage to her? Is she not beautiful enough? I mean, why have you not made your intention known to her? That my intentions towards her has no color, no size, no height of any marriage at all. You are very stupid to say that, Anthony. Huh? Is she not beautiful enough? So what have you been doing all this while? Oh. So she's only good at warming your bed, right? Dad, come on. She's been the one jumping on my bed at will. Did you just say that? Let's see. I have to go now. I will see you when I come back, okay? Anthony! Step an inch close to that door. Then I will make you understand why they call me Otigulago. Let's go. Let's go where? You don't know. You don't know that much, Jack Papali. Mama, I've checked now. I'm, I'm, I'm sure she did not follow us to this place. How let's can she go. be chasing us to this place of Bonyala? Let's go. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Take the lead now. Who? You. Me or you? You. Yeah. You are younger than me. Let's go. No, Mama, you are my mother. I take the lead. You, you are the elder. You are saying wait. I ask you to check. You are saying wait. What are you waiting? Hey, Mama! Somebody is coming. Who is that? I don't know. Let me check. Check, check. Let me check, check if she's the one. I told you to check. It's him. I'm checking. Hey, Mama. She's not the one. Yes. Move this Simba. I should move. I'm moving now. You are jumping. You are jumping. Come, let's go. Let's go. Come, follow Mama, me. We are not afraid. Follow me, Roy. What are you doing? Let's go. Hey, 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 I knew it. I knew this girl would be lurking somewhere around here. She even pursued her uncle. Hey! Chim, 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 chim. I knew it. Hey! Hey! What is that? Hey, hey! Hey! Mama! What is that? Um, you must be very, you're a very stupid girl. It's nothing, no, it's incense. It's, 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 it's incense. <laughs> that is why you want to let my heart skip out of my body. Sorry. What is wrong with you? Sorry. What is sorry? sorry. Eh? I told you, you refused. Speak very well, speak very well. Look at my mother. <laughs> Mama, you are very funny. Do you know that when when someone sees you, the way you fight and talk to people in here, people, they will think that you, you, you are the strongest. They won't even know that. Small girl, just small girl like the bitch can even frighten you. See how scared you, you are. You are very, very stupid. Huh? You are a very stupid girl. Me? I don't blame you. Who told you I'm afraid of small girl? I have a common. A small girl like you pursued your mother here. Instead of you to go and fight, you're talking this nonsense. Okay? Me? Yes, you. She can fight. Ha! Mama Biko, but don't there. Don't just include me. How do you expect me to go and fight somebody with axe? Yeah. With an axe? Obabu person now, run your race, I'll run my race. Ha! You'll be putting it's me into problem. Eh? Come. I should come. Don't come, stay there. Mama, I'm not coming. Run your race, I'll run my race. You may know. Is it not personal? It's personal. Obabu personal, Mama. Obankabu personal. Ah, look at what you've made me go through. I mean, I'm hiding. I cannot even go to my father's house. In peace. Mama! Can you do it? Mama, this... no, wait for me. Mama, Mama, to be quiet. She's coming. Hey! I'm <laughs> so you can fear. I'm not fearing. I thought she was coming too. Uh, let's go. Don't worry. 
I will wait for some time before I go. Eh! Hey, hey. mm -hmm. You have to wait. I need to go. Yeah, let's go, let's go. She's not coming, let's go. Hey. Anthony, my son. You will. I can assure you that you will. Look, I have promised Ukadike, and I am not the man that goes back on his words. Father, those words I will give him without me in the picture. And I will not allow them to make me lose weight at all. Anthony, in case you've forgotten, let me remind you. I am the king and my word is law. You are going to marry Tulia. There's nothing you can do about it. Father, with all due respect, I will disappoint you in this. I am not going to marry Tonya. Yes, I will not marry her. I, I cannot do that just to just to fulfill your agreement with her father, Okadike. Father, I cannot do that. This is my life. I cannot trade my life for anything. Not even to strengthen the family alliance of the Okadikes. Anthony, but will you shut up? I said shut up! How dare you? Look, I am the king of kings in this state. I am a first class king in Nigeria. Nobody, nobody ridicules me. Not even you. Now you better get prepared to marry Tonya. If not, you will see the other side of me as the king, the great king that I am. You and your daughter are working in fear. I hope all is well. You are very stupid. You are very, very stupid. Who is working in fear? And by the way, what is your business? We work the way we choose to work. What's your business? Hand on Palmer. The way you and your daughter are working is very suspicious. Suspicious, King Inge. Suspicious as what? Hand on Palmer. Yeah? They are coming from our compound. Okay? Did you by any means see Nebishi around that area? I saw her in the front of your compound. It's a big ass. But wait, oh. is she the one you and your daughter are afraid of? Yes. You are mad. You must be very Get stupid. Come and let this person in jail. No, no, no. Let him wait for me. Let him wait for me in jail. You are busy. You must be. Mama, 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 wait for me. Don't worry. Leave him. Let's go. We should go. Yes, let's go. I'm off here. Let's go. Eh? Idiot. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. As we are going, be looking, be looking. Yeah. Because Pamela, you'll be the first person to take off. Let's go. Huh? Let's go. Let's go. Hey, Mama, come now, come back. Let's come. take, let's take on what to do. What are you? Is that not the That is not her. Let's go. Okay. Hey, I thought you are Abu Alawai. Okay, why you are enough. looking scared? What kind of daughter is this? 
thank God I ran. What could I have told my ancestor had that axe landed on my head? That I died because of goat and cock to Fiawa. To Fiawa. Aro. I hope my brother is safe wherever he is now. But wait, oh, where did she get all those guards from? I wonder if they gave me the wrong child from the hospital. Mama. Alpha, did you see her? Mama, she's still there, standing like a security guard. Hey! She's not willing to leave them. It means we are not going into my father's house. When that, that girl before? is trying me, Amaka. That girl is trying me. I will deal with her. Huh? Yeah, I will, I will grind her. I will scatter her. I will blow. Mama, 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 mama. Pico, Pico, Pico. Calm down. Calm down, Pico. We've been running for a few hours here because of Nebechi. And now you are here talking of what you do to her. Are you not even afraid? Since you know you do something to her, why didn't you do it all this while and save us from this drama and, and disgrace and stress of running around the village? Mama, I'm tired. You have to do something, Pico. Amaka? Yeah. Mama? Come on, let me tell you something. Oh, yes. Yeah. You see, eh? You must still oh! talk like an idiot. Oh, mama, my ear. Yes. Mama, my ear. Must you talk like an idiot? It is bad enough that you are soft as an agony. Yes. Must you be stupid as well? Uh, mama, do you have to drag my ear? I will continue to drag it. I will drag it from now till the end of the world. Mama, my ear is even paining me. It has not started because I will repeat it around two. I don't want fear. What is it? Mm. Mama, but it's not my fault. I'm not the problem here. It's Nebechi. Yeah. Uh, you have to know what to do to Nebechi and make my father stand up from that ground, though. Me, I'm tired, though. Your father? Is it, is it even your fault? It's my fault. Uh -huh. It is my fault. Okay. No, no it's problem. Not fault. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. Don't worry. <laughs> You're talking about your father, okay? Your father, okay? Let him stay there. From now to whenever he thinks he wants to stand up from there, that is his business. It has nothing to do with me. Huh? Mama? Yes? Ha! Huh. You have to know what to do to my father to make him stand up from there. Didn't you hear what he said? He said he's not going to live there until you meet his requirements. Amaka, is your father a deity? Mban, I'm asking you, is your father a deity that I must appease? Answer me! Is he a deity that I must buy goats? I must buy what again? Oil. I must buy what? Cock. Cock. And what again? Uh, Unzu. Unzu and uh, pam, pam wine. No fear. He will sleep there forever. Mama. What my, is it? My father is an Ichio. Is an Ichio, and you know what that means. Go and beg him to stand up. Amaka, there's something you don't know. You see that time that Nebechi took that axe, eh? Your father, fium, he has left. He will never, he will never remain there. Your father is a weakling. He will never remain there. He's as soft, he's even worse off than you. Yes. Yes, than you. Like father, like daughter. Hey. No fear. She gonna meet him. He wants to stand up. Or he doesn't want to stand up. Let him remain there. Mama? He's looking for goat and crayfish and whatever to eat. Let him sleep. Let me ask you something. Mm. Don't be offended. No. Why do you like trouble? You ask me why I like trouble. I will not answer you. Nah. Uh -uh. What is the problem? You, 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 you look worried. What happened? Where's my brother? He has gone. And your daughter? She's outside the gate. You people will hear from me. No, I hear from you. If there are people that will hear from you, there should be Ngozi and her foolish daughter. Not, not me and my own daughter. And I... Too much water. Trouble no they finish you. Too much trouble. What can he find? Trouble no they finish you. What can I for join you? Sabo, I doubt. Are you more the bear? You will pull up with no candy love. 
So be careful if I put when any you can so be a dog go trouble not a finish you so more um Prince Anthony I can't remember seeing you like this because I know you had the way of dealing with issues like this Exactly, that's because I can grasp the rationale of my father's will to assert his lordship over me. Yes, and this is no longer funny. Oh. I know that he, he, he bottled me to a corner for a long time. I mean, it's no, it's no longer funny. Oh, I see. Marine Tonya here is obviously not the issue. Your father, the king, and his authoritative stance is... I, I, exactly. Exactly. Uh, I mean, I, why would he want to treat me like a child? Huh? Why would he? Um, I couldn't just concentrate at the office today because of this. Uh, my friend, I truly understand how you feel. But you have to calm down so that you can win him over this. I cannot calm down. If you truly understand, you cannot tell me to calm down. Oh no! You're welcome. Thank you very much. So, how did it go? Your Majesty, it was really a tough one. Well, I, I expected that. Uh, I knew it was not going to be a smooth ride all the way. Yes. However, um, what was the outcome? Uh, were you able to convince them? Yes, Your Majesty. Like I said, it was really a tough one. But I was able to convince them. But on the condition that he will sign a treaty, that on no account will he sideline them in the future, ever again. Fair enough. You see, you know, I am willing to do anything and everything for the sake of the royal household and the entire kingdom. Right? Um, I think what you need to do now is to invite their representative so that we can uh, start the process immediately. Right? Oh, but that was what I want. <laughs> what a kingdom. <laughs> I can see that the, the blood of your late father runs in your veins. <laughs> and wherever he is, we will be proud of what you are doing right now. Ah, that's oh, all. Oh no. Yes. Anyway, thanks for the kind words. Yes. You see, there are three virtues that I uphold dearly, and these are peace, unity, and inclusiveness. They are very high standards that I have set for myself, and I will maintain them at any cost. <laughs> well, this reminds me of the day you ascended the throne of your fathers and the speech you made and every other thing that followed on that day. <laughs> it was wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it. <laughs> uh. Are you going out already? What does it look like? But you did not touch the food I served you. Which food? Your food. Oh, 
Oh no. <laughs> so you have just proven that uh, your brain is still very active. After so many years, oh, yes. as it was back in those days. <laughs> you can say that again, very <laughs> good. This is the same old Alicia Mecca that you know. Age has nothing to do with the ability of one to remember things. <laughs> Well, um, all you just remembered is a proven testimony that uh, I should uphold my principles. I should not back down on them. So, all that needs to be done have to be done before the offer. Exactly, Igwe. This will offer us an undivided attention in the preparation of this offer land. And you see, this is a good news of my book. Now, talking about the offer land, what about the crown prince? What about him? Igwe, you know that your son cannot celebrate two offer as a single man. After his enthronement as a crown prince, he has to choose a bride. Whom he must present before the elders, the council of elders, rather, within four months before the father. Oh no, this is actually a big problem for me. I've been having a running battle with my son, the prince, for almost a year now because of this issue. He keeps rejecting all my choices of women for him. I mean, it appears his standards are way too high. Igwe, it is not your duty to choose a bride for the prince. Because even your father, the late king, abolished the tradition that the king should not choose a bride for the crown prince. You should allow the prince to choose a bride for himself. Look, only. This is not a question of tradition. I know my son very well. He's very hardworking. He's a wise young man. But when it comes to the issue of women, he lacks the capability to choose the right one. Because the kind of woman he needs is someone who can complement uh, his uh, good qualities Okay, so I, I have um, gone through a whole lot of trouble trying to get a woman that is perfect to complement his good qualities. And I think the one he's dating right now is a perfect one to play that role. You mean he's seen one already? Of course, he's seen one. Um, she's the daughter of the secretary to the state government. You know, he has gotten the tickets for the next um, governorship election is to be our next governor. I see. Then why the delay? <laughs> it should go ahead and act fast to avoid stories that touch. That's what you are. If you get one, it's over every day. <laughs> Are you not the one I've been calling since? I've been you blind for a year. Yeah, ne bitch. Please, I am not cut out for your troubles this month. Do you hear me? Please, just leave me alone. Oh, you are not cut out for my own trouble this morning. Ya pugaka. Hmm. Do so bad. No problem. Yeah. What was that charade you did at the market for? It all depends on what you refer as charade. Do you know what? I would advise you to go to that market and sort yourself out with those market people, and not me. You look at the women putting in that also everywhere. Eh? <laughs> Thank you.
Picon, I'm not so so get home. Eh, one name Picon. Eh, Picon. Picon. Like I said, I was actually going to your house before I met you here. Cello, Cello. Wait. Was this the reason you displayed like a mad person then? Me, mad person. Both of us know who the mad and crazy one is. Mona give my nogi bunyala, bunyala yakwa. Because what is it again? Is it not too early to make troubles? What is it this time? I will not repeat myself. Chingwe, I will not repeat myself. Who caught my plantain this morning? Your plantain? You heard me. <laughs> Point of correction, my dear co-wife. That plantain belongs to everyone in this family. And if you must know, I needed to prepare plantain porridge for my husband. So I caught it. You can as well take from the bunch if you care. Thunder will fire you dear. Thunder fire you dear, Chingwe. After the disgrace you and your prodigal daughter gave to me yesterday, you still have the guts to go and cut my plantain. And you have the nerves to ask me to take from the bunch. Yes. Because that plantain belongs to everyone. Not only you. Excuse me. I should excuse you. I should excuse you. Okay? Because you excuse me. If you know what is good for you, Jane, go to the market and buy that same plantain and come and replace it. Says who? Me, of course. The only legitimate wife in this house. <laughs> oh, boy, my brother. I understand your anger. Eh? But please forgive me. Eh? Don't make it look as if I planned it. At least you cannot see what your brother is going through in that house. Huh? Ibe, my brother. It is not as if you planned it. I know you did not plan it. But thinking that Tanichi like me will run the way I did like a child in a broad daylight. Saddens me. Uh -uh. It saddens me. What if that axe has landed on my head? Eh? What just if? But the most important is it did not. <sighs> eh? And please, Okoha, my brother, all I need now is how to stop those madness before it will take me to my early grave. What can I want to say? What else can we do? The worst is that they cannot listen to anybody. Hmm? Exactly my point. Exactly my point, my brother. But we need to do something regardless. Biko. You are right, my brother. After all, Eji and Babu are wrong. Oh. Mm, we have to do something. Okay. We will do something. Biko, by the way, where are your wives? They were in the house when I left the house. Ah. Yes. Okay. Let us go to your house. from the market. Hey!
and her daughter to Who come are you calling place. a witch? You! Me a witch? Yes, you are a witch. <laughs> you are a witch. You are even lucky oh, that you are your foolish daughter came back alive in the other. You are lucky that she came back alive. Is it it? And you see, God must tell from you. Eh? I will strike you with this thing. In a parlor, what is your problem? And you too? Me too. What did I do? Why are you all silent? Why can't you speak now? Eh? My wife, we really want to know where all these problems is coming from. So that we can solve it and put an end to this. Nayokwa, there's no need asking all these questions. We all know that Ngozi is the problem here. She's the only one that touts and pick up fights with me at every opportunity. Thereby creating the enmity between my daughter and her daughter. So you people should ask her what her problem is. Nene Adjone. Ngozi, you heard what uh, your co-wife said. What do you have to say? Say what exactly? What do you want me to say? You people made me sit down here. To listen to this thing with all the nonsense coming from my mouth. Okay? You go see my wife calm down. We only want to find a solution to all these problems oh. so that peace can reign. That's not peace. Peace is what? Where? Oh, excuse me, which peace are you even talking about? Is it the one that owns that chemist shop at the market square? Oh, the crippled one at the next village. Listen, let me tell everyone sitting down here right now. Eh? Hey. Not until this woman and her child leave this house. There's nothing like peace. Mama! Hey! Mama now! Will you keep quiet? Mama, baby! Shut up! Is it Mama now? What are you Mama, Mama. It's him, Mama. What are you shouting at? We don't do this advice. Stop it. Get your head this way. I'm not here. That Mama, that you, Mama. It's your. Have you seen it now? You have seen it now. Oh. You have seen what the problem is already. You forgot here. You seen it. Fighting cannot solve this situation. If not, quarreling cannot solve you. Give a shame on you. Shame! Useless man! How many months? Just few months into our marriage, you cannot take care of me. Even go and ask your mates what they do to take care of their wives. All you do is come back to the house with stories every day. You are just a useless man. Even you are so useless. Useless man! Shame on you! Ibe! Where are you going to? Ibe, where are you going to? Come back here! Shameless man! Shame! Shame! It's only a useless man that fight and run away. Come back and meet your wife! You come back and meet me here. Eh? I don't even know how I ended up with this kind of any good for nothing man. Rubbish! You come back! You want me to die of hunger? Did I beg you to marry me? Did I beg you to marry me? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I didn't see you. I'm sorry. No problem. It's fine. But if, if I may ask, why are you always lost in thought anytime you're walking on the road? What is it? Sorry, I don't understand. Okay. The other day I saw you when a bicycle knocked you down because you were not looking. And now this. What is eating you up? What is it? Please, I don't know what you're talking about. Please, uh, excuse me. Hey, wait, wait. Sometimes, you might find a brother's shoulder in a total stranger to lean on. My shop is down the road. Free, free. Just come, let's talk. It, if you don't mind. So, 
That is it. Hmm. I have heard the story you just said to me. And I feel deeply sorry about your situations. But why would bad financial issues make a handsome and prospective man like you go through all this? People go through all this and still stand strong. Yeah, I know. But, but the pressure from my people has become unbearable for me to handle. And the place I work, they are here to reinstate me or pay me what I'm due. I understand. I understand you perfectly, trust me. But what if the bicycle that hit you was a car and gave you a big injury? What are you going to do? Is it going to solve your problems or compound it? I thought as much. Would you okay? You will be fine. You just have to calm down. I live in this compound as well. You're free to visit me anytime you want. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. You're always welcome. So, um, what can I offer you? <laughs> Thank you, I'm fine. Are you sure? Yes. What? I hope you came back with good news. Is that supposed to be a welcome? Do you deserve a welcome? No, Ibe, answer me. Do you deserve a welcome? The money. Ngozi, please, I don't have the time this afternoon. Please, I don't have the time. I don't have the time. Ibe, bring the money. Give me money, oh. Give me money. I've been hungry since money. Give me money. Ngozi, leave the way, let me pass. You're not entering this house. Ngozi, leave the way, let me pass. Ibe, this house will not contain... Ibe, Ibe, this house will not contain both of us today. What is wrong with you now? Because what's, what's all this? Give me money. I did not beg you to come and marry me. Okay. You cannot carry me all the way from my father's house and come and be maltreating me and be suffering me. Okay, Give me, me money. Eat me up now. Okay. Eat me up. What's the meaning of all this now? Ngozi, let me go. Let me go. Give me. Ibe, Ibe, you're beating me up. Ibe is beating me up. Ibe is beating me up. So tell me, how did it go with the railway corporation? Any luck? Nope. They denied me audience as usual. Hmm. Too bad. You know, that is how it has been for over four months now. And I'm forced to live with it. Hmm. That is bad. Yeah, I've been meaning to ask. Are you from this village? No. I'm from the neighboring village. But I live close to the boundary. So my house is very close to this place. That reminds me, what about your parents and your siblings? You don't seem to talk about them at all. My parents are late. What? Yes. They died in an automotive accident with my only brother two years ago. It's just me. So sorry. Please accept my heartfelt sympathy. It's fine. Thank you. But you don't look like someone that has lost her family. How do you manage to be this strong? Yeah, you're right. I mean, I've gone past it. Life goes on. Oh. I try to pick the pieces of my life and move on. But my uncle has been so supportive. Okay. But still, I still have to be strong. True. And, you know, move on with my life. And that is what I want you to do with your life. As you can see, I'm better than yesterday. Mm. I can see. Isn't it? Obviously. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> I'm happy that you're smiling today. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah.
Oh, I have to stop here. Okay. Do you know I left my shop open? Yes, that's true. Uh, mm. You've really tried. Thank you for everything, my good friend. I really appreciate it. You're always welcome. <laughs> I think you have to go now. It's yes. getting dark. Yes, yes, yes. I'll check up on you anytime soon. Okay? Alright, thank yeah. you. Bye. Bye-bye. Yeah, 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 Useless man. I am I am still trying to understand why you called me out here by this hour of the night. What is it now? Eh? But I have said everything now, haven't I? You have said nothing. As far as I'm concerned, you have said absolutely nothing. So you want me to believe that you brought me all the way from my father's house. And just within how many months of marriage, you can no longer perform your duties and take care of me as you used to do. And you want me to understand that? Eh? You just said, as I used to. That means I was doing my job as a husband. Hmm. Not until I was unceremoniously dismissed from my workplace. And so, not until I was ceremoniously dismissed from my workplace all the time. And so, so I should live in the past and die of hunger. Is that what you're saying? Ngozi, all I'm saying is that you should be patient. Everything will be fine. See, all I need from you now is, is your support at this difficult time. Okay, take for example now. For about four months now, Four months, you have refused me to touch you. How are we supposed to stay together, live together as a couple? <laughs> hey, Ibe. Now I see the main reason behind this meeting. Ibe, you are shameless. You are very shameless. Wait, oh. so you will shamelessly Make love to me on an empty stomach. Eh? Ha! See, let me tell you something. You will not have the right to touch me until you start performing your duties as the man of the house. Good night. Where's my food? There is no food. Ngozi, your husband is not feeling fine. I went out there to get some drugs. Coming back now, you are eating the remaining food in the house. How do you expect me to take my drugs without eating? Ibe, your wife has not eaten since how many years now? And you expect me to leave the remaining food in the house for you simply because you want to take medication. Only a selfish and a foolish man will think like that. Because what's wrong with you now? What's wrong with you? Okay, how do you expect me to, to, to take these drugs now? Ah.
Ibe, what is wrong? Why are you like this? What's going on? I... I... Oh, ju just hold on. Let me take you inside. Okay, just come. Now that you've taken the drugs, I think you need to lie down and rest. That is, if you can. Thank you, but I need to leave now. My... Nothing will happen to you. Just rest. You can live when you're much better. Come on, you don't bite. Okay. Is that a yes? Okay, let me take this take it off. I know it's hard for you to say or admit it, but I know what is going on. I saw what happened earlier today. Oh, please, accept this little token for me. And I'll be very angry if you don't accept it. Why, why, why are you giving me all this? See, it feels awkward receiving things from you. I supposed to be the one giving to you. There's no law that said you must give me, okay? Just accept it. Okay, fine. You can pay me back anytime you, you are fit to do so. Please, just accept it. Thank you. You're welcome. Shall we? Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. Okay. Um, okay, let me just excuse me. Please, my friend, please do help me do this for me. I know you are the only one that I can run to to do this for me right now. Please. Ibe, how did you expect me to walk this motorcycle without any part payment from it? Ibe, you are asking too much and you know it. This is too much. See, I don't have enough money. That's why I'm asking you to do this for me. See, immediately I start working, I'll come and pay you immediately. I promise you that. You know, the only money I have right now, I want to use it to fuel the motorcycle so I can start working. Please. Does it occur to you that I need to buy some engine spare parts so I can walk that motorcycle very well? Yes, I know, but you know, I don't have enough money. I don't have money with me. That's why I'm, I'm begging you to do this for me. Please. It's not easy for me. It's not easy for me and my wife. It's even difficult for us to even eat these days. I'm telling you. Please, my friend, help me. Ibe, the truth is this. I'm trying to help you. But this is too much. This is too much. Ah, what is too much? Please, I'm begging you now. Okay, would you uh, would rather allow me and my wife to die of hunger? Or would you like it when you hear that I, 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 I was caught stealing? Would you like it? That's why I'm begging you to help me. <sighs> See, my, my elder brother traveled to Uganda for over six months now, and he's here to come back. You are the only one I have right now that can help me. That's what I'm begging you. Help me, please. It's okay. You can bring the motorcycle. But we will have a concrete agreement on how you are going to pay me 
before I repair this motorcycle. Of course, you don't have any problem. You don't have any, I will pay you immediately. Should I go and bring it now? No, no, not today. As you can see, I have, I have work I'm doing here now. Bring it tomorrow, bring it tomorrow so I can concentrate on this one. <laughs> Thank you very much. But Thank agreement is agreement. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. No I'll bring it first thing tomorrow, man. No I'll, I'll, I'll be here. Thank you, I appreciate it. It's okay. It's Thank okay. you very it's much. Okay. It's okay, it's okay. Thank you. Ngozi, I have good news for you. It better be good news. If not, you will regret disturbing me with it if not. Hey, come on. See, don't worry. This one will interest you. The mechanic has agreed to repair my motorcycle for me on credit. <laughs> Is that the good news? Come on, Ngozi. So I can use it to make money for us now. Mm. For your information, I've sold the motorcycle to those people that deal on scrap. Ngozi! I, I don't condemn. Ngozi, it's a, it's, a, it's a lie. It's a lie. Ngozi, you <laughs> Ngozi! Ngozi, you did, you did what? Ngozi! What did you do? Ngozi, you did what? Ngozi, why? What, what have you done? Why are you shouting over a grand grand motorcycle? Motorcycle that had to beg, I don't condemn, I don't condemn people. I, I pleaded with them. They said the thing doesn't even have use. Ngozi, that's our only potential source of livelihood. God forbid. Why didn't you ask me first, Ngozi? Why? God forbid. For a Gura Gura motorcycle to be my only source of livelihood. God forbid. Please tell me, who did you sell the motorcycle to so that I can go, I can go and recover it back? Recover what? Ah, 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 I beg. Don't even go there. Recover what? <laughs> I said I will go and recover the motorcycle. Ngozi! How about the money? Money that I have eaten already. Hey! Ngozi! Ngozi, you have killed me! Ngozi, why? Even why? Even why? Why are you punishing me? Even why? Hey! 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 Bozzy, you have killed me. It's been so, so soft. What just happened? Did we? You grabbed me. You made sexual advances on me. Well, I, I tried to stop you. But you, you should have stopped me. This shouldn't have happened. You know, I was drunk. I know you were drunk. But behind that drunkenness lies a man that needs sexual satisfaction and care. I lost my virginity on the process. And look, I have fallen in love with you. Yes. You're still a virgin? I was a virgin a few hours ago. Not anymore. Look, Ray. I love you. Yes, I do. No man has made me feel the way you made me feel. Please. What exactly is the problem? Am I not beautiful enough?
My husband! <laughs> My handsome husband! <laughs> you What's look good. On? Welcome. My husband, you are welcome. Hope you did not stress today. Oh. Come and sit down. Sit like a king. My king. Ah! You are welcome, my husband. <laughs> my handsome husband. Because it was happening. Uh uh. My husband. I you know my husband again. Why are you sounding as if it's wrong for me to welcome my husband? Yes, I know, but this... I... I this... Come on, my husband. Don't worry. I made your favorite. Really? Yes. And that will not be all. Because we still have other things to do in the bedroom. You know, it's been a while. Eh? <laughs> my husband. You're too handsome. Ngozi, <laughs> tell me what is happening. Is this a dream? It's not a dream. My husband, relax. Let me show you something. Relax, so. Ah! You are handsome! Oh God, I have eyes. I can do it. Here. Look at it. Open, open, open. Wow! Thank God! Thank God! Thank God! Thank God for this! Yes, so. Finally! You mean Mr. Johnson and Chiowa were here this today? Yes, so. Yes, so. My husband, they came and they were apologizing. They said they are very sorry for all that happened, the waste of time, all that they have put you through. Eh? They said they were going to pay all that is due. Compensate you and reinstate you into the company. Oh, thank you, Lord. Even, thank you. They even said you should go to their house tomorrow morning. Thank you, Father. Yes, sir. Thank you for answering my prayers. Amen. You know what? Someone once told me that there's a light at the end of the tunnel. I can see the light. No wonder the sudden change in my targets of wife. Yes. Come on, my husband. Eh? All that is in the past now. You know I love you. I love you so much. Uh, you love me yes. because money is now talking. My do, do, do you know what you have made me to go through? I am sorry. I am sorry, my dear husband. Um, um, I promise to make it up to you. Well, it's okay. It's okay. You know, and, and everything that matters to me right now is that I have my wife, my life, and my family back to me again. Yes, so. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I love you so much. I love you, my husband. Ah! Sorry yeah. for all the stress. Come, 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 come. I'm so, I'm so excited. Let me save you a hey. red meal. Gold! Gold! Hi! Mm. Mm. why? Why didn't you tell me? Believe me, Chin Wei. I don't know how or why I didn't tell you. It was never my intention to cheat on my wife or to take advantage of your innocence and your benevolence towards me. But I was drunk that day. I was drunk. I didn't know what happened. Everything happened all of a sudden. Believe me. That's why I, I stayed away from you all this while. Ibe, what was my offense? What wrong did I do to you other than to love and care for you? All these things wouldn't have happened if you have told me from the outset. Oh, you choose to deceive me. Ibe, look me in the face and tell me if I deserve this. Do I truly deserve this? No, Chinwe, you don't. I'm so sorry for being a coward. I know I should have told you. You don't deserve this for, for your good heart. I'm so ashamed. 
I'm so ashamed for. I'm pregnant. What? You heard me. Chewy. You're what? My husband, my husband. Oh. Does Hope there is no problem, my husband. I didn't even know you were back. Um, hope all is okay. Everything is fine. Just that I had a very rough day at work today. I'm just stressed out. I understand, my husband. In that case, you just go in and take your bath. We we'll have something very important to cheer you up. What is it? Oh, um, well, you are going to be a father very soon. No. Ngozi, you are pregnant. Ngozi, you are pregnant. Ngozi, you are pregnant. Yes. Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> I love you so much. You are pregnant. Yes. Don't worry, I'm going to surprise you. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. What? I hope this is a joke. I wish I am. But it is not. Then you must be out of your mind. Ibi, I said you must be out of your mind. So this is what you have been doing behind me. Ibi, you have been cheating on me. I am sorry I did. But I am only trying to explain to you how it all happened. It's not as if I planned to... But you... Hey, you were drunk. You were drunk when you were doing it. That is what you're trying to tell me. So all these stories you have been telling me is to make me feel guilty and blame me for what you did. Then justify your own actions, right? No, I was only trying to explain to you how it all started. <laughs> I know I was at fault as well. Ibe, look, let me tell you. It is bad enough that you cheated on me. But bringing your mistress into this house is over my dead body. You better find a way to settle her wherever she is. Because I will not share this house with another woman. Rubbish! I know it's not going to be easy. But I have to do what is right this time. Chinwe, we have a baby in this house as my wife. Hi. <clears throat> this is 26 years I've been living in hell. From one problem to another. For 26 years. Oh yes. Huh? Hi.
you can see. <laughs> Obviously you're fine, you know. It's like someone woke up from the good side of the bed this morning. Oh, you notice? <laughs> yes. Well, the thing is, my friend Jane is having a morning birthday party and we will be attending as a couple. Babe, calm down first, okay? Let me ask you something. You came to my office this morning just to tell me about a birthday party. On a Tuesday morning. Who does that? A birthday party on a Tuesday morning? Well, my girlfriend. Look, she just wants something out of the ordinary. It's more like a badge in one of her father's bar lounge. And then from there, we head to the beach. From the beach, we go to Golden Villa <laughs> to Mama calls. I jump on Paris. Baby, it's just a birthday party. Yes, I know it's just a birthday party, but it can go along, okay? I've already arranged my day, have a schedule for the day. I can, I can, I can just, I can just stand up and go for a birthday party. This is just past 10 a.m. in the morning, Tuesday morning, for that matter. Even at that, I can't even spare my morning just for a birthday party. You know? Come on, I can't do that, okay? My dear, as you can see, I'm so busy here. I can't do that, okay? I'm so sorry. I knew you were going to say that. For you? Anthony, how can you be so uncompromising? Why can't you just loosen up at least for once? Chief Ukadike. <laughs> oh, yes. I agree to you. I know you are a great man, a volcano whose heat force is greater than thousands of furnaces. The Toscano that leaves rumbles in his wake. I greet you. You are a great man indeed. Oh yes, I know. Yes, uh, unfortunately, I will not be able to come. 
But I'm sending my son to represent me. And I'm sure he's capable of doing a good job. Yes, um, you know, my Ofala is uh, fast approaching. Yes, and that is why I cannot leave the palace right now. Yeah, I know, I know. That is why I want him to come so that, uh, you know what I mean, you can have a quiet time with him. Oh, yes. Ah, come on. <laughs> you can trust me. Okadike himself. Adim Nebuagu. Yes. <laughs> My incoming governor. I trust you. Oh, yes. Don't worry. Don't worry. You are my in love. Nothing will shake that. It's all right. It's all right. Uh, please send me word to your beautiful queen, okay? All right. Bye. <sighs> Okali came himself. Like after everything I've said to people, I understand. I, I know this is about Antonia's rigid attitude towards you. But listen, if there is anybody that is supposed to feel bad right here, it is me. Please, I don't want you to ruin my day. Oh, I don't feel it's fine. It's fine. Everything is going to be alright. Okay? Now, where is my? Good. We're going to go in there and act like nothing is going on. Babe! Yeah, yeah, everyone is looking for you. Oh, I know. Oh, no. This doesn't call for such laughing section. You know. It does. Anyway, you're right. But you wouldn't blame me for laughing at loud. I, I mean, who does a birthday party on a Tuesday morning like this? Who else if not Tonya and her group of friends? Those girls are something else. You mean Tonya and her friends? Yes. You can say that again. Um, Prince Anthony, you have been with this girl for God knows how long. I wonder why she still behaves the way she does. This is unlike you for God's sake. That girl is a couch head who only prefers the fun part of it. A perpetual fun seeker. Can you imagine? This girl asking me to go catch fun with her on a Tuesday morning. Who does that? Can you imagine? I can imagine it, Prince Anthony. Prince Anthony, what I cannot understand is you haven't been able to change this girl. This is unlike you, for God's sake. Change who? Tonya. It's like you don't you don't know that girl. Her character is is a default. At this point, I don't think there's something else I can do. There is a lot for you to do, Prince Anthony. It's obvious you're fond of this girl. Judging from who you are, it's only one thing: love. I know you wouldn't want to accept it, but that is the truth. And what's your point? Change her. I know you can do that if you want to do it. It's evident that her father spoiled her as the only child. But you can do something if you want to do it. That girl loves you so much. 
especially now that your preaching is making sense to her. Listen, pour out exactly how you feel to her and leave the magic to her. Tell her how you feel. Everything will be fine. So, I want you to meet someone special. Bright. This is Tonya. Tonya, this is Bright. I'm going to leave you to. Father, like I said before, Tony and I are cool. Nothing is wrong. Anthony, I know you understand what I mean, don't you? Now, let us dialogue. Father and son, I am quite conversant with the fact that you are oblivious of my feelings towards your behavior in this matter. Alright? Um, I have waited patiently for you to propose marriage to her, but you are not forthcoming. And I've been asking myself what is responsible for this? But I've not been able to place a finger on it. Now tell me, is there anything about her that um, you are not quite comfortable with? Yes. A lot of them. A lot. You see, I like Sonia. Yes. Yes. I won't dispute the fact that I like her. I do. But you see, she's not the kind of woman I can settle for. But she's a fun freak. Yes, I won't disregard that. She loves a lot of things. She's not a bad person. I am not going to say that, uh, yes, because of that, and I'll call her a bad person. No. She does things on impulse, especially spending. This lady has no plans for herself. Not now, not tomorrow, not in the future. Huh. Let me ask you this, son. Do you think she loves you? <laughs> oh, yes, I, I believe so. Good. Um, and from the look of things, you equally love her. I mean, from what I'm saying. Perhaps uh, the things you enumerated are responsible for your doubt in her love for you. But you can change all that. Father, you see, it's very obvious that you don't even know Tonya. Oh. You don't know her at all. Mm. That lady is fixed. Not even her father can change her. And that's the reason she left her father's mansion. But you can change all that. Except you don't believe in the power of love. How? <laughs> Let me educate you, son. You see, when two people are in love, they can do things that ordinarily they wouldn't do just for the sake of love. I mean, Sonia is just 24 and you can mold her. Mold her to any shape you want. But I am not a sculptor anyway. Anthony, you can joke over this, but I'm not joking. Her father may not be able to influence her, but you can. Do you know why? You have the highest weapon to change her. And that weapon is love. I want you to go and think over what I've told you.
<laughs> Why are you laughing like a matter too much? Can you stop now? <laughs> okay, fine, fine, I'll stop. But she wouldn't blame me. <laughs> okay, to answer your previous question. Yes, I know you had eyes on me from the very first day our parents introduced us. Really? Yes. You were only playing hard to get for a reason best known to you. But I knew it won't last. Is that what you think? No. It's what I know. Okay, tell me. Don't you love me? Mm -hmm. I don't know for now. But I'd rather use the word like the stage. Playing with words, I guess. Well, it's common with the royals, so I understand. I've been meaning to ask, why don't you like taking me to the palace? We've made love countless times here, but I wonder when it will happen at your place. My father, the king, wouldn't let me be because of you. I cannot take you to the house and have anything with you uh, around because I wouldn't want to send the wrong signal to him. I wouldn't want that at all. The wrong signal? What's that? He wants us to get married immediately. And it's clear that you have not gotten to that stage yet. I wouldn't know if you're ready to make a sacrifice for a relationship. Is that what you really think? Look, Anthony, I know I am stubborn. But you don't know what falling for you had made me do. Like things I would ordinarily not think of. You're clearly the one who is not ready to sacrifice for a relationship. Um, Prince Anthony, you have been with this girl for God knows how long. I wonder why she still behaves the way she does. This is unlike you, for God's sake. That girl is a couch head who only prefers the fun part of it. A perpetual phone seeker. Can you imagine? This girl asking me to go catch phone with her on a Tuesday morning. Who does that? Can you imagine? I can imagine it, Prince Anthony. Prince Anthony, what I cannot understand is you haven't been able to change this girl. This is unlike you, for God's sake. Change who? Tony. It's like you don't you don't know that girl. Her character is. It's a default. At this point, I don't think there's something else I can do. There is a lot for you to do, Prince Anthony. It's obvious you're fond of this girl. Judging from who you are, it's only one thing. Love. I know you wouldn't want to accept it, but that is the truth. And what's your point? Change her. I know you can do that if you want to do it. It's evident that her father spoiled her as the only child. But you can do something if you want to do it. <sighs> Let me ask you this, son. Do you think she loves you? <laughs> oh, yes, I, I believe so. Good. Um, and from the look of things, you equally love her. I mean, from what I'm saying. Perhaps uh, the things you enumerated are responsible for your doubt in her love for you. But you can change all that. Father, you see, it's very obvious that you don't even know Tonya. Oh. You don't know her at all. Mm. That lady is fixed. Not even her father can change her. 
And that's the reason she left her father's mansion. But you can change all that. Except you don't believe in the power of love. How? Let me educate you, son. You see, when two people are in love, they can do things that ordinarily they wouldn't do just for the sake of love. I mean, Sonia is just 24 and you can mold her. Mold her to any shape you want. But I am not a sculptor anyway. Anthony, you can joke over this, but I'm not joking. Her father may not be able to influence her, but you can. me. Obviously. For how long have you been standing here? Well, um, long enough to notice that my son, my lovely son, the heir to my throne, the crown prince of Okwara Kingdom is worried deeply in thought. But what I don't know is what is responsible. So what is it? Is it uh, work? No, Father. Work is fine. Hmm. Yeah. So what could it be? Ah, it must be about a woman, isn't it? Oh, Father, come on, stop. stop. <laughs> I knew it. And I'm sure that woman must be Tony. Look, son, if you need anything, any help, tell me. If you have any problem, tell me. I'll be able to solve it for you. Father, I thank you for your concern. I, I do appreciate. But I will be happy if you should allow me to do things my way. If you say so, uh, I will have to accept that. It's okay, then. If you like. Right? Oh, I'm in love. The marriage stuff was just the easiest means for you to achieve this lifelong ambition. Jane, my father wants to use me as a bait to rid the royal family off their, their, their perch on the oil and gas ladder. The 
this is the first time my father would speak to me that too. From then, I could feel the heat in his voice. I am being full of without me noticing it. He's getting reports on me and Prince Anthony on a daily basis. And he believes I am the reason why he has not proposed yet. Look, I want to love Prince Anthony because I am attracted to him. And also because of the splendor that is attached to royalty. I've been mates and cards at your beck and call. This is all new to me.
Um, please have to know. <coughs> you have to calm down. Just calm down. Don't tell me to calm down. It's all your fault. My fault? Yes. How is it my fault, Miss Anthony? <laughs> You're asking me, how is your fault? It's you, my father, all of you. I had my reservation with that girl, but my father will let me be. Even my best friend will sink the undying love about the same girl in my ears. Have you seen where it has landed me? Are you happy now? Oh, please stop, Prince Anthony. Stop it right this minute. Stop! It's bad enough that she's the cheat. And her father, the manipulator, should be blamed for it, not me. You should be blamed for it. You, my father. You people made me to profess love towards her. And also marriage. You caused it. How, Prince Anthony? Prince Anthony, you went there because you realized how deep your love is for her. You went there because for your quest and for high moral standard. So what are you talking about? Because of you and my father. What I'm trying to say is you and my father created the thought of loving her in my head in the first place. I knew my limit with her until you came with your solicited advice. You caused it. This is your fault. Um, please, Anthony, you have to calm down. I know how hot you are and not in the right state of mind at the moment. Just calm down. Calm down for God's sake. Hey, hey! Oh my God! Of course! Yes, it is true! Let me have it! Let me have it! Don't try Drop me down! down. Drop, Drop it down now! Don't try you! Drop it down! Put it down! <laughs> you will put it down, you will not put it down! Hey! What is here? What is here? Hey! What will you do? I'm asking you! Drop it! Drop it! Drop it, drop it, drop it. There's no way to go, just drop it. Only, only a platter, drop it. You will drop it. Drop it, I'm not leaving it. I will not leave it. Hey! You will drop it. Oh, you want to beat me up there? Yeah? You want to beat me up there? Yeah? You want to beat me up there? Yeah? Hey! People, come and see. You want to beat me up there yeah? on the platter? You are just started, only. Only. Oh, no. Leave this thing, leave what? Leave this thing, drop it. Drop it! 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 Huh? Come on, come on, From you, what did you do to her? Wait, did they hurt you? They, they don't fit now, can they? They cannot. Okay, they only hurt my hands. Why did no she sense. collect the plantain from you? They can hurt in Diara. Eh? What did Just you do play. to her? Try it next time. Just try it next time, Papa. Don't ask me. Go and ask her. And as you're asking her, one how? One that woman you call a wife, one know ya? Because I. The next time she will see me on the road again, we are this thing. What the hell is no sense again? What happened? Nine. This three. Go and 
and one ungodly. One ungodly to live my daughter and I alone. They should stay on their own and let us be. One how? One how? Eh? Nebechi. Nebechi. Yeah. Yeah, ungodly. 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 Ungozi! What is it? What is it? Why are you calling my name like that? Why did you attack Nebechi on her way coming back from the farm? Attack who? You heard me. She told you that and you believed that. Okay, what happened? Eh. Yes, what happened? Good. What happened was that she told Ima to go and cut my plantain heads from my farm. Do I have to remind you that the farm you refer to as yours belongs to me? Nanyi, I am your wife. And so it belongs to me as well. Likewise, Chinwe. Chinwe is my wife. So she has the same right. So the farm belongs to her too. I say, I say, I say that's a very big lie. Because I will never say anything with an intruder. Yes. See, whatever name you like, you can call her. That will not change the fact that she's my wife. And she has equal right with you. And let me even ask you, who even told you that she's the one that told a man to come down the plantain? Who told you that? I am the one that told the man to call down the plantain and ask Lebechi to go and bring it up. Yes! Nine. So you now want to share my property, my right, with a total stranger? Okay? Stranger? Yes! Ngozi! 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 How many times did I call you? Three times! Three good times! You will hear from me. Three times! You will hear from me. I'm not me, hearing Ngozi. anything! You will hear from I'm me! I'm not hearing anything! I'm not hearing anything! I will not hear anything. People have not seen anything, no. Just wait, you have not seen anything. Just wait for me, I'm coming. You have not seen anything. Gossip, 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 gossip. You will soon change the name. You have not seen anything. Just wait. That's a good one. You're shouting. You forgot one. It's a good one. Every day. Don't worry. Stop there, young man. What is the meaning of this nonsense? Huh? You left this house this morning. I've been calling your lines, your phone switched off. I've been worried sick only for you to return and walk past me. What kind of rubbish is that? I look at you, you are smelling alcohol. What happened? God. Do you really care to know what happened? It's Tonya. Tonya and the father. That happened. What is the meaning of that? This is a joke, Anton. Is it? A joke that would have wrecked our lives. So, Okadike was playing me for a fool. Oh. He wanted to plant a mole in my house. I am this close to propose a marriage to his daughter. And this was all your fault. What you would have brought upon is... Could you keep quiet? Shut your mouth! How would I have known that he wasn't genuine? Am I a seer? Father, you are not a seer, but he keep singing the litany of his good wills. And also praising him. Father, if I had gone ahead with this marriage arrangement, I wouldn't have forgiven you. Young man, mind the way you speak to me. I am your father. 
are the king. I know who you are, and I know what you are. But this will serve as a learning come to my father, the king. Have a nice day. Ukadiki. Ukadiki. You have woken up the sleeping lion. You have stepped on the python's tail. Oh, I will so deal with you. I will so deal with you. Yes. Book an appointment. A dinner appointment for me and the governor tomorrow. Yes. Thank you. Bukadiki, wait for me. You've not won this Becklin before, have no, you? No, no, no. It just arrived from Paris. Oh. oh. It smells expensive. I don't must clean, but I like the fragrance. Buy one for me. The perfume costs a fortune. And I cost more than the whole world put together. You think so? Of course, I know so. Look, Prince Anthony, I am your girlfriend. And I deserve to be treated like a princess. Well, I brought one. Well, so what are we celebrating? Truth. You got me here. You really, really got me here. Of course. You know I always do. 
But Anthony, I thought you were angry at me. Hence I got this drink so we could settle and make peace. <laughs> but it's obvious you're cool. As you can see. Tell me, you were mad at me, right? I was. So what changed? Because I didn't sense any anger in you when I walked in. Yeah, I decided to let it go because your presence changed everything, you know. You know you know how to push things away and make things right. I know, right? <laughs> but that wasn't cool. I know you lived an adventurous life, but you should know when to relax. Let go of it already. I'm sure the taste of this wine is more valuable than talking about the past. She should find a better way to say I'm sorry than trying to dodge it. <laughs> okay, if that's what you want to hear, I am sorry. What? I said I'm sorry already before you kill me with those big eyes of yours. See, I'm hungry. Come and take me out for lunch. I'm hungry. I want to do Chinese. You want to do what? Chinese. Chai? What? Yes. Sorry? <laughs> Stop playing! <laughs> you had fun, right? Yes, Good. I did. Good. You do not know to treat a woman right. <laughs> this is just the first compliment I'm getting from you. So ever. Mm, that's because you've not treated me well in a long while. Uh -huh. But you said I know how to treat a woman. You just said it now. Don't get over excited yet. That was just a smam. <laughs> but I can actually change that at my place. That's if you want to. Oh, God, Tonya, come on. Huh? Are we going through this conversation again? I told you I have a business meeting to meet up with at four. Which can wait. Anthony, you know you can actually reschedule this meeting. When will you give me the time I deserve? I stop, stop making excuses with your work. I was actually working at the office when you came in, but I gave you an attention. Huh? Because I like you. I even took you for your lunch. There he goes again, using the word like on me instead of love. Tonya, I won't... It's fine. It's okay. Just take me home. you knock on the door before coming in. I'm so sorry, sir. Next time, don't try it, okay? Okay, sir. Oh, um, sir, it's 10 minutes to the meeting and everything is set. The HR manager, is it Tom? Yes, he's at the podium already. No problem, you can go now. Alright, thank you, sir. <laughs> I should not pick in my calls. Was I harsh on her when I rejected her offer? Was I harsh when I told her that I was in a meeting? But she was expecting me to dish my meeting and come over to make love to her. That's ridiculous. Who does that?
Please, I know you're going to cut this one for me. But please, don't kill the battery with your SS calls and chat and messages. Um, Tonya, I'm glad you finally picked. How are you? Oh, are you waiting till yeah, I'm fine? After what you did. Look, Anthony, you're so mean. Tonya, come on, come on. I told you that I was rushing out for a business meeting. You don't expect me to just leave that line out to come see you just for sex? Is this why you called? Look, I'll just end this call if it, this is why you called. It is bad enough that you care less about my feeling. But you calling just to justify your action is what I will not take. Today I'm so sorry. Huh? The truth is that I... I never expected to hurt your feelings. Okay? We just... came back together again and uh, we don't need to fight. I am glad you know we just made up. That was why I wanted us together. Or oh, haven't you heard of the word? sex after fight, and the old phone that comes with it. But you just ruined everything. I said I am sorry, I am going to make it up to you, okay? That's if you promise not to do it again. And two, you have to get me that perfume. I promise, I promise I won't do it again, okay? Yeah, and for the perfume, I've already ordered it. And again, I want us to do lunch together tomorrow. Oh, this is the prince I fell in love with talking. But I think um, something was omitted. Okay, what could that be? <laughs> Never mind. Leave matter for my tires. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you about it tomorrow over lunch, okay? Bye, I love you. Tonya will never change. Stop! Oh, yeah, stop! Stop! Stop it! Come on! Oh. Oh. You're so stupid. You're so naughty. And somebody so likes it that way. If not, it would be one meeting or the other. Is that what it is now? Anyway, that is not why I'm here. Tell me you're here because I wouldn't let you rest. Hmm? Oh, tell me I am the bad girl and you're the famous Saint Anthony of Padua. Come off it, Tonya. You know I didn't mean it that way. All right, all right, all right. What I'm trying to say is this. I... I want us to be together. I mean, it feels good to be with you. I knew it. I know you always want us to be like this, but your no pain, no pay matter wouldn't allow you just admit it. Well, I'm glad you just did it. It means you're progressive. You know, when I use the word good, not better, it's a reason. Look, Anthony, I don't understand you one bit. Why are you trying to make me angry after all the fun we just had? Why? I'm sorry if I made you feel that way. I'm just being concerned as a friend. Look, Anthony, you shouldn't have come if you don't want to be here. Don't make it look like I forced you. You're not a baby, are you? Tony, I try and understand me. Understand what? Understand how you want to choke me with your unsolicited advices? Are you my father? This is one of the reasons I left the house. But truth be told, my father never bugged me this much. So please. Tell her calm down and listen to me. Okay? You're a graduate. 
You came with good grace. All I'm trying to say is that you can actually engage yourself with something very reasonable. I mean, you can, you, you have, your dad has a company, you can work for your dad. Work for my dad? Yes. Like nine to five? Like nine to five. Hell no. I don't have time for such luxury. I won't do it. Tonya, you see, you can actually open a supermarket. That's the selling stuffs. Rather than buying stuffs. Okay? You can meet on here. I'm doing all these things for your good. So in this life, you won't depend on anybody. You won't depend on me, or your family, or any man. You need to be open doing. Start doing something. What is this now? Are you going to be on that duvet all the rest of your life? The sign of who she is has always been there. But I was too blind to notice them. How did I even think I could make her my wife? What was I thinking? Well, I can't be here thinking about such girl. She definitely doesn't want it. Thank God I missed the bullet. But this will be the last time and the last thing I'll take from my father. I will never take it again. Never. Who <laughs> have I brought that? Uh, yes, ah, I thought by now you'd be at the panel. The messenger told me he was in your house long before coming to my house. Oh, wow. See the way. Huh? You are asking as if you don't know already. Huh? Ah, ah. Iche, are you telling me they started again this morning? After all I said to them two days ago. You just said two days. You are talking about two days. This one, they fight every day. They started this morning, probably because of... The one they could not finish last night. They started it this morning. Eh? Uh-huh. Ha! Okay, I was quite bad and was. Oh, Eh? Must they fight every day? Even the wives of Deoba, famous Ogechi and Denkiru, they don't fight every day. Why? Why? My own wives, they do every day. Except if there's no strength. But you know my problem. Anytime I am in my house and there was calm, he will look as if I am in the wrong place. I know there is a problem between two of them. But not to this extent. Eh? There is more to this. Let us leave this discussion for another day. Eh? We are late already. Let us go to the palace. Eh, by the way, do you know why the Igwe has summoned all the counsel of the others? Um, Ichi, but I don't know. And uh, I asked the messenger this question. He said he knew nothing about it. I just hope that uh, nothing bad happened. Huh? I think we have to be on our way. Ah, let us go. Let's follow. Oh, 
are you surprised that your voice is rubbish now? Besides, I tried stopping her, but she forced herself in. It's okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. So you still have the nerves to show your face in my office after everything? Huh? Do please. I'm sorry. Please, you have to forgive me. Honestly, I didn't know you were going to come early that day. I, I, I swear, it was my first time and I will never do it again. Please. Oh. You didn't know I was going to come that early. I think that's your uh, defensive line. Huh? It will, it, it will never happen again. Anyway, it's none of my business. Do you understand? Now get up and leave my office. Anthony, please hear me out. Please. You, you can't just abandon all we share because of this single mistake. Please. You call it a mistake? Oh, really? It was a single mistake. And what about your father's plans? Surprise, surprise. I got you there. I was at your doorstep for 10 minutes practicing how to ask the big question before you bless my ear with all the truth. The big question? Wait, wait, wait. You, you wanted to propose? Of course. I wanted to propose. Well, thank you for making me see how foolish I am. That is not going to work. Please. You've actually said goodbye to yourself. Please. And that is a goodbye for you. Now get up and leave my office. Now. Sorry. Get out of my office. Get out of my Sorry. office, you won't like what I'll do to you. Oh, 
say you are here? Huh? Huh? You are back. Hey, I am back. Oh. I searched for you in your room. I didn't see you. I wanted to peel this bell on the front of the house. But I could not stand your co-wife and her stupid daughter's drama. I had to come here. Eh? <laughs> Wait, oh, I'm coming. Let me bring you. Hey! <laughs> Mama? <laughs> what is the excitement hey. all about? So you noticed my excitement? Of course now. Mama. I know whatever that that caused this kind of excitement must be very big. You are very correct. And my ears are inching me already to receive the food just I must start talking. Adam. Mama, what happened? If I don't tell you, who else would like that? Amazimo! Hey, hey. <laughs> but you know what? Hmm. Before I start, hmm. that plantain that I asked him to bring, I hope you took it inside. Hmm? The plantain. But Mama, how can I do such a thing? Knowing what is at stake, I can't now. Nebechi, I wouldn't want to find out that you are lying to me. Have I ever lied to you before? I am telling you the truth. Okay. <laughs> hey. <laughs> okay. So can you not tell me what this joy and happiness is all about? My daughter, you won't believe the announcement we received this afternoon at the women's meeting. Tell me about it. <laughs> Adam. Mama. A new Adifi will emerge soon. Wow. Yes. That's a good news. Of course. Uh -uh. And that is why I've been so happy. Eh? Yes, so. <laughs> Mama, I know you are happy because it's not just a good news. Tell me more. What did they say? Hey, hey. You want to hear? Mm -hmm. One. Mm. That new Adifi. Say magic from this particular family. Chimo! Yes. Mama, that's another good news. And you know the, you know the person. That, that new Adif is my beloved daughter, Chamaka Okoye Ibe. That is me! Yes! Hi! Mama, I will be the next Adif. Mama, that's a good news. Mama, that's a good news. This is good news. Yes, so oh, my this daughter. This is really good news. Good news indeed. I couldn't contain my joy ever since that announcement was made. Oh my goodness. <laughs> hey, I'm so happy right now. The Igwe, all the cabinet chiefs, the decision makers know exactly the main reason for the long delay. And it doesn't matter anymore. As long as our family will benefit from it. Mama, do, do, does it matter? <laughs> the end point is that our family was chosen. Okay. And you know what? We should be celebrating, Mama. <laughs> hey! Of course. Mama, eh? <laughs> okay. Now I know the reason for the drama in front of the house. That is the reason. They have not seen anything yet. Yes. The real drama will show when you have finally been crowned the new Adifi. Hey, Mama, hmm? I cannot wait. Oh. So people will be paying homages to me. Bam. Ah, oh, Bam. <laughs> you have it. Yes, sir. And I will be walking around the village with my audience and mates. Bam. Hey! You have it. You have it. <laughs> you have it. Mama, it. Don't just end like that. Okay. Um, people will go around the village bowing down to me. Oh! When they it. see me, they will bow down to say, Greetings, Adife. Mm -hmm. May your days be long. Mm -hmm. The new Adife. Mm -hmm. Mama, watch me now. Hey! I will now walk like this. You have it. I will walk like this. You have it. I will walk like this. You have it. I will walk like this. You have it. I will... <laughs> hey! You know it exactly. You know it. I know it. Mm. You will consider those two as for mates. Mm. But that will be over my dead body. Never! Calm down, my daughter. It hasn't gotten to the extent of swearing. No, my, it has gotten to that and even beyond. Huh. Ah, ah! You know these people? I will not give them any chance. Near a chance. You know what they can do? I will not! Wait. Wait. I say you should calm down. Okay? We shouldn't behave like them. 
just to put them on check. We cannot behave like mad people because we are living with mad neighbors. No, 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 no. I disagree with you. A sane man cannot be living with a mad person. For now, it is either he packs his things and leaves, or he will become mad to be able to match his mad neighbor's energy. And in this situation, Mama, the first option is a no-no. So we are left with just the second option. Rubbish! No! Mama, between Amaka and I, who is going to be this happy? They are down of the chosen family. Becomes the Adife. Huh? One more thing. Since the Igwe does not have a female child, who becomes the Adife now automatically becomes the Adese of our village. Bam! Hey, hey! Hey, hey! Yeah, 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 yeah! Hey, what? You have not told us all. When exactly are they going to crown my daughter? When is the coronation taking place? Uh, I think the coronation will be as soon as possible. Very, very soon. Hey, hey. Very soon. Will it take place within this weekend? Uh, Papa, hmm? you said the Ada of the chosen family will become the Adif. And I ask, who is the Ada of this family? Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up! Get quiet! Shut it up! Shut it up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! What sort of stupid question is that? I'm asking you! What sort of stupid question is that? Oh, you're stretching your mouth, you're asking questions. What do you mean? Oh! So how dare you! You want to begin to rub shoulders with my daughter, my precious daughter, in this house. The first daughter, the only legitimate daughter of this family. What do you mean by the only legitimate daughter of this family? Keep quiet! Keep quiet! You see? Your little secret, you have just opened it now into the thin air. Yes, that is what you have done. What secret are secret. you talking about? You want me to tell you? What do you mean by secret, little secret? Mm -hmm. Say it. Which secret are you talking about? Who are you about? What's in you to Kenya? Yeah. Say that secret less here. Okay. Chewie, who is the father of. Huh? What? Uh, what do you mean by that? Bomb <laughs> who is the father of. Nah, you got to ask me. Why are you looking at me? What is it, my daughter? Talk to me. Mama, is it true? Is what true? What Mamaka said out there? Is it true? Oh, oh. It's all about Ngozi's unguided utterances. Nebechi, my daughter, you should have known that woman by now. That she says whatever she wants to say at any time. No matter how wrong they are. Mama, this is different. This is different. It is not the first time she's saying it, and the seriousness on her face it's too much to be swept under the carpet. So what point are you making exactly? Who is my biological father? Onye Bonam? Did you ask me that question? Did you? Pichu, I want to ask you again. Who is the father of Nebeji? I'm asking you. Are you her father? Ngozi. Ngozi. Nine. What is wrong with you? I mean, what is wrong with you? Why do you like creating unnecessary problem? Now, let me ask you. What do you really want? Bam! That is it. Very good question. Very, very good question. 
Akaraka, Akari, I'm come. Send her straight to her father's compound. And do the same thing to her mother. Send the mother back to her father's compound. Oh, wow. Huh? That's what you're sitting down. No, hey, mama. mama, sorry. No sense. So you now believe what that woman says over mine? No, Mama. But I need answers. I have been called the bastard by some people in this village, both men and women, and I keep telling you about it. I can't just continue to overlook these things. Mama, who is my father? Who is my father? When you are ready, you will come in. Mama? Mama? Mama. Mama. Nebechi, what you did last night was uncalled for. I mean, how could you? Mama. But I have said I am sorry now. It's me, oh. You're from Oranya. Because, um, Honestly, this is not funny. You went over the line. Mama, that is why I am trying to come on the line. Nebechi. Okay, no jokes. I'm sorry. Because, That's alright. Um, That's alright. I've forgiven you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, Mama. You're welcome, my daughter. You're welcome. Okay, let me help you. Mm -hmm. Are you sure you can do it? Mama. But I've been doing this before oh, now. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I only apologize to my mother because I don't want her to be sad. But the truth remains that I am not convinced yet. The way Mama and Maka talks about this and the ones coming from outsiders are really giving me a serious cause for concern. I am just confused on what or whom to believe on this. Should I go to Mama and Maka to find out things from her? I won't do such a thing. That will certainly give her another thing to gloat over my mother. But how then am I going to find out the truth? Oh my God. Nebechi. 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 So it has gotten to the extent of you walking past me without recognizing or greeting me. I'm so sorry. Good morning. I was just lost in thought. I'm sorry. What are you thinking? Yeah. Nothing serious. Nothing serious. <laughs> okay, oh. where is your father? He was at home when I left. Okay. Let me go and see him. Easy, easy. Ah. Oh. 
Oh, it's like I cannot move again. Hey, come on. Ah! Come on, come on. Oh. Let's go. Oh. 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 I'm here to see the midwife or doctor. Madam Peace, how did it go? Hope they made it. Calm down, Mr. Ibe. The surgery was successful. My mm -hmm. wives gave birth to two beautiful baby girls. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, doctor. Thank you. Can I see them now? Rather, midwife. Oh, sorry, midwife. How are they doing? Can, can I see them? Both of them are doing great. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. <laughs> Ibe! <laughs> I'm not Ibe. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. So, let me see them now. Um, I, I don't think I can see them now. I think that's some procedures. Oh. We need to take care of them. Hey, doctor, what's the situation? Both of them have been united with their daughters in the world, but they are still asleep. Okay, but, but can, can I see them at least? Um, alright. Doctor, please, take them to the ward. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Come on, I've heard everything you said. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate it. Thank you. You keep referring to me as a doctor. My husband was a doctor before he died. I might be the one in charge of this hospital now, but I'm only a midwife. The truth is, I'm personally doing my job. <laughs> and you're doing it excellently. Yeah. That's our standard here. We try to be as professional as we can. Thanks for the compliments. Yeah, thank you once again. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. We really appreciate it. Yeah. You're welcome. Yeah. Please, if you wouldn't mind, uh, I have something to do inside. It's okay. Please, uh, it's, it's okay. okay. It's okay. It's okay. <sighs> so now, <laughs> I'm the father of two beautiful babies. <laughs> God, I thank you. But, Ibe, why didn't you ask her who put to bed first? Uh, does it matter? The most important thing right now is that the surgery went well. And my wives and babies are in good condition. Ibe, I know why I'm saying so. And it's very important. It's okay. I've heard you. I'll ask her later. But right now, I need to go and get some stuff for my wives. Are you coming with me? Of course. <laughs> I never knew it will come to this. 
honestly. But I warned you, or didn't I? You even told me that you are going to ask later. But you never did. Look at the result now. Well, like I said, let us forget about the past. What do you think I should do now to come out of this mess? Forget the past, eh? Uh -huh. <laughs> no problem. For me, I think there is no problem. Just pick one of them and name your other. Case closed. <laughs> but you and I know it will not work. Eh, man, Kama? Why? Because they have already known that I don't know whom they are, that is. So pick it anyone. We need the other one to make case out of it. And you know what that means? Huh? I didn't think of that. Oh. Yes, yes. Okwawula. Ah. We have to pay a visit to the midwife. Ije. I am very sure she will definitely remember. What are we waiting for? Kaigawa na agawa. That is it. Huh? Hey. I hope someone is. If only I'm guided to call, my lad, come. I'm coming. Nietzsche, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. How are you? I'm fine, sir. How are you doing, my son? I'm fine, sir. Uh, please, we're looking for Madame Pins, the midwife. Is she in? My madam? <laughs> She's not in. Uh, she traveled to Aquara Village, but she'll be coming back very soon. How soon? Because we really want to see her. It's so gentle. Okay, I see. Uh, she'll be coming back very soon. Uh, within the weekend, she will return. Hope there's no problem. Mom, there's no problem. Hmm? Just tell her that we visited. We'll be coming back to see her. Huh? It's very important. There's no problem. I will, I will tell her once she comes. Okay. Let's go. Take care. Uh -huh. Bye-bye. Hello? You're welcome. So how is the kingdom business? <laughs> well, we are coping. <laughs> With the wahalas here. Oh. Uh, uh, grandma. That's my boy. Son. Grandma. Mm. Is this you? That's me. You're welcome. Boy, You're welcome. Boy, boy, boy. Uh, where did you come? Mm. About an hour ago. Came in by one o'clock. Since one o'clock, I didn't even get a call. Ah, yeah, it's going to be bad. Uh, uh, grandma, <laughs> that's not fair now. Wow. Oh, Dad, I greet you. Now he notices me <laughs> as if I was invisible. Ah, your majesty, let my son be. You're always here with him, are you not? <laughs> don't mind my father, don't mind him. Oh. Um, um, both of you can continue to gist as long as you want. <laughs> Don't call me. Both of you should just call. tell me you're jealous. Are you? Uh, your Majesty, are you jealous? <laughs> Take it easy. Take it easy. I am sure we will find a way to resolve this issue before the occasion that will usher in the coronation. You know I must present my first daughter before the council of the elders and women group before the festival. I know. That is why I told you that before that time we will find a way to resolve this matter. Eh? I just realized 
I have made a very bad mistake. Huh? You've made a mistake, acceptable. But that will be corrected. When the midwife comes back to the village, eh? all this matter will be put to rest. Just thank God that she's still alive uh -huh. to resolve these issues. Eh? Put your heart at rest, my brother. Put your heart at rest. I am sure this will not cause more confusion than it has already. Hmm? Okay. Mm. This is unbelievable, coming from a man that will potentially rule the state by next May. <laughs> but you know what? I'm not so surprised because this has always been his character. Grandma, you know the man in person? Yes. He is the same man that laid claim to my late husband's two acres of land in the capital city. The then state governor backed him because he was friends with his father. <laughs> Grandma, you saying that Chief Kukadike did this? <laughs> what did you tell my father? Oh, my dear Anthony, this happened 12 years ago. I didn't even know he was friends with my son-in-law, your father. I wonder how they became friends. Grandma, I need to see how the kingdom was is really into my ears. It was deafening. <laughs> my father made me to see him as the master of love, equity, justice, benevolence. <laughs> the master of love in heaven. You don't have to blame your father so much for trusting and having confidence in him. He came with a mission and he must have marketed himself very well to your father. Ah, what I don't understand is why he is insisting you marry this girl. I don't. Grandma, this is not the first time I'm knowing my father. This wouldn't be the last. <laughs> I must marry his anointed mm. as far as he's concerned. <laughs> and you're well already. Ah, yes, I am. The last time I visited, we discussed at length with your father. And with his response, I thought he has changed. But no. I honestly still wonder why he is insisting. But not to worry. We will talk about that with him again. Just relax. What? You mean Ukadike was the man who claimed your land? Yes. He had the backing of the then state governor who was friends to his father. So he had <laughs> a smooth ride of it. It was very easy for him to claim Hmm. I didn't know you were friends with him. Uh, the truth is, we crossed paths about two years ago. Yes. Uh, it was at an event. Yeah. And since then, we, we've been good friends. Your Majesty, two years? Ah, that is not long enough for... The prince to marry his daughter. You barely know them. Do you? You don't even know them. Um, the truth is, I didn't see this coming. You know, when I met him, he appeared to be the perfect type. I mean, he, he looked clean to me. Your Majesty, Anthony should be given the chance to choose his bride. Or do you think he's not old enough? Um, it's not as if I, I think he's not old enough. It's just that I don't want him to just 
bring any girl to the palace as a wife. He will ascend the throne eventually. And um, I, I need a, a strong woman, a, a woman with qualities that can complement his own, to sit by his side. Your Majesty, my grandson is a wise and intelligent young man. He knows what is best for him. Come to think of it, someone that will be saddled with the responsibility of ruling such a big kingdom. If he can't choose a bride for himself, then the kingship should not be given to him. He is not qualified. Or don't you think so? Your Majesty, I pray you ponder on this. Think about this, please. And your brother went to see Madame Peace today. Uh -huh. So what no. did she say? Nothing. We did not even see her. Ah. When next are you going to see her? Um. Better. Yeah? Finish the question. Finish it. So that you can go and interfere with the testimony, okay? I'm asking. You see what you just said now. Exactly what you know how to do best. You have failed. Your plans have failed. They have failed. Bam! That is it. No, <laughs> Let me ask you. What plans are you talking about? I know I gave birth before you. So I don't need any plan. I don't need any plan. Jane, when you gave birth before who? You. Before who? Before you. Ah, make sure looking for it again. Shut it up before I shut you down. You shut me down. Yes, I will shut you down. You gave birth before I who? gave birth before you. Jingwe! Yes! You are rising up. Yes, I, I am rising up. Like a palm tree. Uh -huh. You want to explode. Give me where, Messi. What do you want to do? Uh, uh, why are you asking me what do I want to do? Oh, fuck, man. Dead Over who? Will I allow your daughter and to you, become an adult you will die. in this house? And I will you will die. die. You are stretching your hand at You will die. You are stretching your hand at me. You said, don't fight your daughter. You want to fight up My daughter will become the adult. You want to fight? I'm asking you. I can't, I don't, I don't have a boy, Yara. Of course, everyone in this community. I get back before you. you. I get back before you. Hey! Mama, Adam! What's me? Adif! Mama, what's me? Asam! Oh! Buga wam! Adam Naru? Buga wam! Adam Naru, Mama! Hey! Hey, 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 hey! My princess! Amo! My princess! Amo! My beautiful daughter. I'm more, I'm more than that. Like, give me those steps. Give me those steps. Hey. Oh, yeah. Hey, mm -mm. mm -mm. mm -mm. Adi, hey. Adi, 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 let me go to the market. Oh? Mm. Let me go to the market. Thank you. you remember what I told you? Mm. Hmm? You know that some people are envious and they are jealous of your position. Mm. So do you know what I want you to do? Mm. Hey, hey! I want you to open your eye like this. Hey. And you'll be looking at them. Are you seeing my eye? Mm. This is how you open it very wide and you'll be looking at them. Eh? Let me go to the market. I'll still come back. I'll come back soon. Huh? Mama Adife, hey. the mother of the princess. Hey. Go well. Hey. Mama, go well. <laughs> Who is that? Who wants to bring down the gate? 
It is me, Ichi Okwa. I've been knocking since. Uh, Ichi Okwa. Ichi. Hey. How are you, my son? Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, I've been sorry. knocking since. Sorry, sorry, sir. I was busy. Um, I was busy doing something at the backyard. You know now. Nah. It's all right. I'm here to see Madame Peace. Oh, Madame Peace. Uh, she's not around, though. Ah, okay. But she's back. I saw her this morning myself. Uh, uh, Ichi. I did not say she's not back. Uh, she came back, she went out, but she's not yet back. <laughs> it's okay. the same thing now. <laughs> when is she going to return? Ah, Ichi, I think very soon she, she'll come back. Very soon. But I don't really know the time, but very soon. I hope uh, you told her that we visited the other time. Hey! 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 Wait. hey. It is. I forgot to. Hey! Mom, we told you that day that this our visit is very important and urgent. Eh? Something is about to spoil. We want to see her urgently. I understand it. I'm sorry, eh? You see, I never planned it. Everything just happened so fast. Next thing she came, she told me. Next thing, I forgot. You know, now. Nah? This is our work. Hi. I'm very, very sorry. Eh? I'm very, very sorry. I promise eh? I will deliver this one. Eh? I'm supposed to be here with my brother. I understand. But he went to do some other things. Okay. Please make sure. Make sure that you tell her this time. Ichi, that we are Before will... something damages. Ichi, will... Please don't be offended. You know, when she just came back, everything just at the very fast. Everything was just few, few, few. Before you know, I forgot. But I was hoping to tell her today when she comes back. Please, don't forget this time. I will never forget. Hmm? I will be going. Mamma, I will never forget. Ichi, I'm sorry, eh? Take care. Hey! You do what? This work, eh? You need to keep person. Some people are jealous of me. Hey, hey! Bugamwa! One and only a deep you just displayed now it's simply because of me becoming the Adife. your problem is you are simply jealous of me because I am becoming their defi. Hey, some people jealous me. Some people jealous me. Some people jealous me because I am a defi. Some people are dreaming. Some people are dreaming. Some people are dreaming because of malaria. Fine, ma'am. Uh, uh, madam, 
Madam, uh, there is something I forgot to tell you, ma. What is it? It's about uh, someone came here to look for you, ma. Someone? Yes, is he or she? Is he? Iche, 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 Ibe's brother. Uh -huh, yes, the tall one and the, the fair one. Iche, Ibe's brother. Yes, ma. Did he say why he wanted to see me? No. Not tell me anything. The only thing that he said that I should tell you that they need to see you. For the matter of urgency, I don't I don't really know. He was really emphasizing on it. It's as if the thing is very, very important. Like very important. I don't know. Now uh, I they even kept looking for you when you were in situ. I forgot to tell you. You forgot. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. Oh dear me. This must be the opportunity I've been waiting for to get this burden out of my chest. Oh, God help me. Aloy. Ma. Remind me later. You'll go to Ichebe's uh, house to deliver a message for me. Okay, ma. Don't forget this time around. Ah, I will not forget, ma. Uh, ma, I was doing something else. I'll finish up with you. Thank you. Wow, God help me. This will be a good opportunity to get this done with. Baba, please remember to tell Nai exactly what I told you. You don't have any problem, huh? He will hear that you came. Okay, ma. Oh, God. Okay, catch your phone, ma. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Sure, good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good afternoon. Are you not Madame Peace's driver? Yes, I am. So what's going on here? Why did you say Kachifu when I came in? Oh, 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 oh. That, I was about leaving before you came in. That is why I say Kachifu, ma. So what were you discussing with her? <laughs> I actually came here to deliver a message from uh, Madam Peace. So what did she say? I actually told her to deliver the message to Ichi that Madam Peace will be visiting tomorrow. That was exactly what I came here to tell her before you came. Uh, yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank you. Oh, now one. Okay, ma'am. Madam Peace will be coming tomorrow. I hope it is not what I'm thinking. Nisuma, I don't trust you. Mm. Mama. 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 Mama, what is it? Please do not tell me it's nothing. Because I've been standing here calling your name and you didn't even notice me. I'm just thinking. Mm. About what? Hmm. Madam Peace will be coming here tomorrow morning. Hey. Apparently, to tell us who the first daughter of this family is. Mm -hmm. That's good. <laughs> it's a good news. I'm suspecting something. What is it? Do you know what? I saw Chimwe discussing with Madame Peace's driver. Immediately I came in, fiam, the boy left. Hmm? Yes. That woman is up to something. <laughs> so finally, we will know who the first child of this family is. Hey. <laughs> but Mama, what if she calls Nibichi instead of me? It will, not, it will never happen. Not when I'm alive. Um, what if, Mama? What if? 
<laughs> it will never happen. Forget it. I don't trust her. I know she must have bribed Madame Peace. Trust me. Me, I don't want to lose the position of the Adifi or the mom. You will not lose it. Mama. Should be me. Adifi or the mom. That's all I can remember. We had to do the operation simultaneously because both were in critical condition. <sighs> Mm, Madam Peace, we've all heard what you said, but we want you to think deep. There must be something you will remember. Think. Hmm? We need answer to this question before things goes from bad to worst. That's all I could remember. Hold on. I think I just remembered something. Do address both were fair complexioned, but I knew one will eventually be dark skinned because of her ears. What then are you trying to say, Madame? Peace. One can know. Huh? I think Nebechi was the first to be born. <laughs> turn that fire, you dear. Turn that move. Everything you said that your mouth you call you call Titanophia. And what fear I knew it. I knew she has brought you over. You're not even ashamed of yourself. I beg your pardon. And you will never have my pardon. Very sure, you will never have my pardon. Angry woman. Ngozi, be quiet and listen to what I'm about to say. Listen to what? What am I listening to? What am I listening to? With your age and position, you can allow yourself to be brought over by this stupid thing. May don't that rip off the, 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 this your stupid mouth. Is it me you are referring to as cheap thing? Jingwei, 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 this is why I got angry with you. Stop giving yourself undeserved credit. Ah, uh -uh, sit down. Well, I've always known you as a whaler, so I am not surprised. But get ready to whale well more. When my daughter here will be crowned the Adife of this country. Oh! Hi! Oh! It's a lie! Yes, sir. Wake up from that dream! Wake up from that dream now! Ah, kuna, kuna. Me. Yes. Hi. Me. Hi. 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 Why did you just call my mother? Madam, let's go. It's only love. Only love. It's only love. And you need only love. But keep your distance. From people who we never and meet, they are Cause they will always try to make it feel like it's all your fault. She couldn't even allow me say what I was about to say. I thought this would be an opportunity to let this out and be free, but I was wrong. Oh dear me, how am I going to do this without risking that angry woman's verbal and physical attacks? I have carried this burden for so long a time and it's weighing me down. There must be a way out. There must be, oh God, help me, help me, my God. There must be a way out. Anthony, 
How are you? Ichi, Ika, I'm tired with this, your family. Eh? What is really wrong with all of you? What on earth is wrong with all of you? Must you resort to fight to settle issues? Up by up every day. Eh? In fact, what issue has fight ever settled or resolved? Ichi, Ichi, no need to blames around. Yes, no need to blames around. You see this woman here, eh? And her daughter. They are the reason for the problems in this house. Bam! They quietly came in here to take away my peace that I'm enjoying in my husband's house. How do you mean? Good. And not only that, they bribed that old witch to take my daughter's birthright and give to her daughter. Bam! Oh, mommy, it will never work. I know it will come to this. I know it will come to this. None of you will accept it. When she said the other gave birth first. But, uh, Ngozi, how did you know that the chin will influence Madame Peace's uh, testimony? Sit down, sit down very well. Uh -huh. Cross your legs, she's crossing her own. Mom. Because I saw her and Madame Peace driver this morning. Yes, and from every indication right here, I'm not mistaken. She was my wife. What do you Stress have? your leg very well. Are you not seeing her? She's placing her hand. Place your hand. Stretch what your hand. do you have to say, my wife? No, you What do you want me to say? No, no, tell me. What exactly do you want me to say? Exactly you what you to told say. Madame Peace that made her want to give my daughter, eh? My daughter's right to your daughter. Begin to talk now. She's stressing her head, you're looking at her. Stretch your own. Sit very well. Chest out. I don't fear. Did you discuss anything yes. with Madame Peace before now? Who could I have discussed with Madame Peace? And I. She's only behaving like a mad dog because my daughter was the one Madame Peace called. Kitara. And not hers. Kitara. So, Kitara. 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 Eh? You're calling my mother mad dog. Mother of the next Adifi. Hmm. Leave her alone, leave her alone. I'm tired of hearing the backing of this man. You can go away if you're tired. Huh? Nah. Let's go inside. Uh, I go, go inside. Uh, oh, yeah, Chibi. We shall see. Let my daughter come here. speak anyhow and the Is princess right? does not walk anyhow. Yes. The princess walk with dignity. Yes. Madam set, Papa. Sir, set your chest forward. Dignity. Yeah. Smile. Yeah. Oh, boy, I wonder. I will have fun. The children are even crossing them. Yes. 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 Yeah. Just cross it very well. Don't shake. Father, are we, are we actually having this conversation? I can't believe that. I'm an arrangement. Come on, Dad. Look. All I want is what is best for you, the royal family, and everyone. And I guess Tony and the father are inclusive. Oh, come on. Don't, don't, don't rub that in my face. It was a simple mistake. A mistake that would have ruined our life and possession. Father, what makes you think that you, you, you have the right to know what is best for me. Why don't you just allow me to make the mistakes that are making the mistakes for me? Anthony, you speak as if you have someone in your life when it is obvious that you don't. Father, how can I start something serious with anyone when you cannot give me the brilliant space with all these your numerous arrangements, friends and allies? What do you mean by that, Anthony? Daddy, see, I need some moment of peace. It's very obvious that I cannot get the peace that I want at this palace. So I am going to take a vacation in my privilege. And I'm going to do it with Grandma. At least she can give me peace and hope. I better take my leave now. Have a nice day.
I can't help this. But blame myself for not doing the right thing. Huh? I allowed happiness override my sense of responsibility. Huh? Okay, Diane. Don't be too hard on yourself. It could happen to anybody. Considering the joy you had when you are two wives, we are coming out from theater with two beautiful daughters. See, Opo and my brother, we are saying the same thing. Eh? But I never knew it were a matter. But here I am, with a lot in my hand that is hard to crack. I'm not even can name I'm not even can name The question now is, what do we do? How do we come around this? Now, 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 a drone can join you. Do I know what to do? And I'm here asking questions. I'm not going to get me. I am confused. Huh? It is even becoming harder than I thought. Now you are seeing it from the same angle. I'm not going to get me. Hi. Um, I don't know. Oh. Hmm? We'll see what to do. Hmm? For now, we'll be going. Okay. Hmm? I will see what I can do. Okay, call them up. Mm. Mm. Alright. Can they not beg you? Oh, God. Oh. Why did I? How did I allow myself? Oh, okay, friend, they be fine. Hello, dear. Awesome, dear. Who is your dear? I am so sorry about that. You must be very stupid. You are a stupid man. I am just saying sorry for what I did to you right now, okay? Besides, the water didn't even touch you. Oh, so your intention was for the water to touch me before you know you did something wrong. Now I know that telling you you are stupid is just a compliment. It was... What's wrong? around? But, I, but I, I just said I'm sorry. Why you're sorry now, Bao? Why you're sorry now? I want to him. I'll get it. Listen to me now. Okay, ma. Don't call me your dear. Don't call me your dear. It's okay. I As you can see, there's no more water here. What do you intend to do this time? I know. I just, I'm just being remorseful of what I did. Okay. Based on that dirty water. Okay. I am so sorry. It's my fault. I should jump to the heaven because she said you are sorry. Don't call me again, no. Don't you dare stop me again. My dear, see. What I'm trying to do. <laughs> Don't try to touch me your cursed hands. I beg you see. Oh, they sent you. Onye adi nyeregi. Huh? It's okay. My hands are not crossed. Anyway, I just want to see if I can drop you off or take you to wherever you're going to. Go okay, to hell. Okay, if you don't mind. You're going to hell? Oh, get like a hell. You're the one going to hell. Thank <laughs> you. 
Bebechi! Bebechi! Is this a ghost or my daughter? Has it gotten to the point of you ignoring me? You didn't even notice me at all. Nebechi. Ogene. What is your problem? Eh? Nebechi. Hey, big mama. Still is yes. <laughs> here. Big mama, how are you? Fine, and you? I'm good. It's so grown. <laughs> hmm. So someone remembered at last to pay a visit to his grandmama. Don't make it sound as if I've never been here before. Mm-mm. Don't even go there. That was some 15 years ago. When you came with your mother, my daughter, eh? You came uh, visiting. Yeah, but we normally see whenever you come to the palace to visit. <laughs> anyway, I'm happy you're here. Hmm? You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. I hope you didn't find it difficult locating here. Mm -mm, mm -mm, not at um okay, I'll say a bit. I find it difficult a bit, but I made it fun on my way coming. Mm. Yeah. Youth and adventure. <laughs> ah <laughs> you're welcome. Hmm. Mama? Mm? I'm perceiving something very delicious. Mm. You came right on time. Your best is cooking. <laughs> Your best Mama. is cooking. <laughs> so how is your life? Fine, fine. Mm. Everybody's fine. Everybody's fine. Everybody's fine. Mama, looking as Mama. you are. You're hungry. Don't worry. Don't hurry. That's mm. special. I used to cook. Used you to came cook. right yeah. on time. <laughs> <laughs> Where is our Lord? Uh, wait a minute. <laughs> you mean why Uncle said all that to you? Yes, and even more. <laughs> She said I should go and look for who my real father is instead of dragging their deeper with the only biological daughter of this family. Hi! Hi! <laughs> no. I can't take this anymore. I cannot take it. I am going to confront that good for nothing woman. <laughs> <laughs> hey! You want to go and confront one young woman? For telling the truth, Hokoya. Yeah. yeah. How long do you intend to hide the truth? I'm asking you, for how long? Tell her the truth now and save her this agony. And I'm looking at you. You're looking at me. Ngozi, Jing. Ngozi, Jing. What is going on? Talk to me, what is going on? Mama, what is going on? What is going on? Now I want her. Want her to stop gossiping with my name and the paternity of my daughter around the village. What is even the meaning of that? Eh? Honestly, what I don't know is why she is doing all this. Eh? Why? Are you asking me? Nay. Are you asking me? Listen, this is creating a very big gap between my daughter and I. And I can no longer stay calm. Better put an end to it. Yes, put an end to it. Else, the war that will come through this will be bigger than Iran and Iraq. I've said my own. Hi. You people have even given me more than that already. You now say Iran and Iraq. Yeah? Hi. Okay. Don't come here, dear. It's okay. I want to... As you can see, there is no more water here. What do you intend to do this time around? I know. I just, I'm just being remorseful of what I did. Okay, based on that dirty water. Okay, I am so sorry, it's my fault. I should jump to the heaven because she said you are sorry. Don't call me again. Don't you dare stop me again. 
My dear C, what I'm trying to do. Don't try to touch me your cursed hands. I beg you see. Oh, they sent you. Onye you Huh? It's okay. My hands are not crossed. Anyway, I just want to see if I can drop you off or take you to wherever you're going to. Go okay, to hell. Okay, if you don't mind. You going to hell? I don't get like a hell. You're the one going to hell. Such a radiant smile can only be caused by one thing. You're thinking about a woman. Am I wrong? Oh, come on, tell me. Who is she? What's her name and where is she from? Well, I don't even know her name. Who? Yes. I met her on my way coming here and... Um, you met her in this village? Yes, here in this village. Just that she's kind of rude. But I don't mind anyway, you know. Oman <laughs> Nuku. I think I'm in love. Oh, my grandson is in love. Anthony, I've never seen you like this before. Yes, because I've never seen a woman like this before. Did I hear you say a woman? Uh, no, no. A, 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 a girl. Beautiful girl. I'm the naughty. Ah, but you would have at least got to know her name and other details about her. You was carried away by her beauty. Yeah. Oh, you wouldn't understand. My grandson is in love. <laughs> Uh, come on, guys. What exactly do you want to achieve from all this? Huh? What is your mission? My mission is to open up a secret that has been covered for so many years. It is hanging, dangling in front of you. Are you not seeing it? You pretend not to notice or see it. I told you how everything happened. Did I not tell you? Yes, you did. But that is according to what she told you. Which is not the truth. Yes. Maybe. Are you not seeing the evidence? What evidence are you talking about? Eh? See, Ngozi, if you don't stop all this nonsense, I will deal with you severely. Am I clear? Yes, again. I will deal with you. You heard me. You will deal with me severely. Hey, hey. Yeah. Oh. Uh, look at the person that I'm even helping. You want to deal with me severely. Okay. Good. Iche, I am the only wife in this compound. Ask your mistress where she brought that pregnancy from. That she jumped on you when you were drunk, making you to believe that you are the one responsible for it. Ask her. Ngozi. Don't call my name. Ngozi. Don't call my name. Don't call Ngozi. I am still talking to you. Ngozi. Hi. Look at what I brought upon myself. Eh? Abogini can GC go tell me. Hi! Who knows if she's going to pass here? I don't even know her name to start from. Let me still have hope. Hello. How are you? Fine, sir. Good afternoon. So they, they don't greet people in your village or something. Sorry, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Good, good. Um, I'm looking for a young lady. Actually, I don't know her name. Hey, you know, it's funny, though. Know? She's. Not too tall, dark in complexion, she's a bit chubby, you know, she, she's beautiful, uh, I don't know. No, I don't think I know her. Uh, no, but you're from it. here? Yes, sir. You've no. not come across someone like that before? Eh? No, I don't know. Are you, are you sure you're from here or this is your maternal home? I'm from here, sir. I met her somewhere here. She, I think she used to pass here or something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. 
Ótimo. Okay. This one self. This one don't even know anything. Because I learned this one. I think I have to go and try again tomorrow. Yeah, I have to go now. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. Um, you see, I am so sorry for the other day. I wasn't really looking. Okay, uh, I hope you've forgiven me. I should be the one saying I am sorry here. I mean, I overreacted when I shouldn't have. It's because I was very, 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 very angry that day. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. That means we've forgiven each other, right? <laughs> You're not serious. <laughs> I, I am not serious. Serious people are there in the hospital. Hey, oh my goodness. You're a clown. Am I? You are, I think so. <laughs> anyway, thank you for that compliment. You're welcome. My name is Anthony. And you? My name is Nebechi Ibeokoye. But I'm not saying I know everybody in this village. It's just that I've never seen your face. Are you from here? Yes and um, no. Yes, in the sense that my mother is from here. Oh. Yes, and I'm uh, from Okora Kingdom. My name is Tony Ezago. But my grandmother is from here. And my grandmother is Mama P. Chineke! Really? Uh -huh. Madam Peace? But yes. The retired midwife. <laughs> yes, Ali. Ah, ah. She's your grandmother. Mm, Amen. You're so funny. <laughs> what a world. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, Mr. Anthony, I think I would have to leave you right now. My mother sent me on an errand. Okay, then I can take you to wherever you're going to if you don't mind. Yay. Who will mind when I'm going far? I don't mind though. Well, okay, take yeah. me on a lift. <laughs> So, this is your house? Yes, yeah, so thanks for the lift. It was helpful. Oh, come on, it's nothing. A beautiful girl like you deserves more than that. So, when am I seeing you again? You can't. What? Why? <laughs> I was only joking. Oh, well, you can call me whenever you like. No problem. Please, next time, don't joke like that to me again. Okay? Do you know, do you know that my heart nearly jumps out of my mouth? Mm. Yes. Tell me about it. This girl. It's okay. I am going to call you tonight. Is he okay by you? It's okay. But that's if you're not going to ask me to be your girlfriend, though. You're, you're, you're just. You're just impossible. Oh my God. I know. 
anyway bye bye and uh, so let me give you a peck but i don't know you that well so bye bye <laughs> oh my god i just love this girl Who is that man? How are you not even sure he's the driver of that car? So, you mean you went through all this just to see a lady? Grandma, what will I do? I don't know how else to go about this since I had no information about her. See, let me tell you the truth. This is what most young men went through just to see a lady. But they won't just say it. <laughs> oh, children of nowadays. <laughs> You say her name is? Her name is Nebechi. Nebechi Be Okoye. Hmm. Grandma, is everything okay? Yes. Everything is okay. She's a pretty girl. And I know her family very well. Hmm? Hello, pretty. Hi, ugly. Am I ugly? Your mirror will be the judge. How was your day? My day was a bit busy since I dropped you off. Busy thinking about me, I guess. Why would you say that? Because it is obvious you like me a lot. Don't you? Mm, I liked you before. I used to like you, Dawn, but right now, I'm in love with you. <laughs> so when is the wedding? What? What wedding? My parents. Yeah, what kind of human being are you? You're mouth, eh? <laughs> well, you will get to find out soon. You know what? I just I just like you. Your sense of humor. But a big sarcasm in it. Hmm. I like the sound of that. Why won't you why you want to give me a baby? <laughs> So how are you? <laughs> you understand? I mean, so you don't want to come in. You know, you know the reason. Hmm? Okay, oh, but it does not still affect anything. Okay, okay. Till then. See, you're very stubborn. Why? Why are you so stubborn? I know. <laughs> bye bye. No problem. I'll call you, okay? Uh, just like that. You just want to leave like that? You just want to leave like that? Ah, oh, come on. Shakara. Shakara. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Bye bye. I'll call you, okay? Call me. Up. Yeah, I will.
Yeah, yeah, hello boss. Yeah. No, 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 I'm not there. Will it be possible tomorrow? Okay, okay, okay. I'll, I'll be right there. I'll be right there, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I'll call you once I get there, sir. Yes, boss. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Babe. It's, it's my boss, and it's very important that I go there. Another excuse for you not to come to my house. No, don't say that, okay? See, it's very important I go there. It's a very, very, very important thing I'll be there. It's fine. I'm not important. It's fine. You can go to your boss. See, babe, I promise to make it up to you, okay? Trust me. That is what I hear every day. I will make it up to you. When will you ever stop this? I will make it up to you. And do you know what? Just drop me at that junction. Drop me here. I will find my way home. That's fine. Baby, you need to calm down, right? You are very important to me. You should know this. My son, you are welcome once again. Thank you, sir. Uh, I really appreciate your coming. But you should have at least informed us of your coming so that we prepare for you now. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir, you're right, actually. But I wanted to take your beautiful daughter to somewhere. Yes, this is just an informal visit. I am going to do it formally and declare my intentions towards your beautiful daughter. <laughs> <laughs> my son, that was very thoughtful of you. It's only responsible men think that direction. Mm? I can see you are very responsible and you are welcome once again. Mm? Thank you so much for your kind words. Thank you. My son, you're welcome to our house. You're welcome. My daughter here has already told me much about you. And I'm glad to finally meet you. <laughs> you're welcome, eh? Okay. Thank you, ma'am. My son, something is missing here. Okay. Yes, you have not told us where you come from. Yes. Mm. I'm from Okwara Kingdom. Actually, this is my maternal home. Yes, my mother is from here. And I'm a grandson of Mama P. In other words, we have the prince in our house. Hey. <laughs> this is wonderful. Oh, the prince. What are you, man? You're welcome. Hey. Thank you, ma'am. I never knew that late uh, Adure, the daughter of uh, uh, Peace, had a grown-up son like you. This is surprising. Mm -hmm. You're welcome once again. Thank you. Thank you. That's Madam Peace's grandson. Why are they calling him a prince? A majesty. No, 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 no. My mother must hear of this one. I must tell my mom. Oh, oh, oh. You're welcome. Nice to meet you. You're welcome, eh? Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> you have a very beautiful daughter here. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know your luck is just that you told me you are royalty before coming to the house. If not, I would not have had it lightly with you at all, oh. <laughs> Granny told me that your father and your stepmother are both aware that my mother got married to the king of Okora Kingdom. You know, I had to tell you before you fight me. Wait. So you mean I'm a troublemaker? Ah, huh? obviously you are. Seriously. Yes. <laughs> anyway, I've been wanting to ask you this. Where did you get this color from? Because both your parents are fair complexion people ask me this question a lot too anyway my mother said her father is actually dark yeah. and then my mother's uncle is very very dark in fact that one is like charcoal yeah. it should be around the age of madame peace oh that's, the... anyway, that's nice i like your color though i don't even like fair people 
Mm. Mm -hmm. So you fell in love with me because of my skin tone, okay? You know you have bad mouth. Both your parents are good people and they talk well, they talk wonderfully. But I don't know where you get this your bad mouth from. From where? Chilukwao. That's it, I call an angle bad mouth. Seriously, you a joker? Eh? Onogi? Hey! But in a good way though. Who is smiling with you? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, I'm just joking. Okay, I'm just joking because I don't want you in trouble now. I'm just joking, I'm sorry. Yes. Mommy, pizza. Pizza? Yes. Spell pizza. Hey, B E E E Z A. Okay. Hey! Done. Deal. I'm going to even get two for you. Hey. Mm -hmm. I got one. <laughs> Oh, you're bad mouth, eh? Okay, sorry now, sorry. is a grandson to Mother Peace. Yes, Mama. He even said that himself. Mama. Is he a prince? Yes. The mother was married to the king of Opera Kingdom. This is unbelievable. Hmm. Mama, it is unbelievable. It is. This is not right. Bam. Hmm? Hmm. Jean, we managed to buy over Madame Peace and now her grandson. <laughs> that means we have lost completely. Yes. It won't work. But wait, to. I have not seen this boy in this village. How did they manage to find out about him? You have a point there. I mean, they must be up to something. We need to do something very fast also. Chingwe. Hmm. Chingwe. Hmm. So this is the reason for the glow on our face ever since we came here. I know. I know exactly what your plans are. It won't work. Never. Mama, it will not work. It will not work. We have to do something. You have to do something. Mama, I cannot completely lose. Amaka, do not worry yourself. Calm down. Yes. I know what to do. I know how to handle them. I will couple them. Don't worry. I'm your mother, okay? I gave back to you. So forget it. Let's go. Let's go. Yes, my car just broke down now. 
Uh, I'm at the primary school road. Okay, Grand. Okay, thank you. Chiba is calling me. What is keeping you now? It's been about 30 minutes you said you were coming. Yeah, my car just broke down. I'm on the road. Uh -uh. What happened? I wouldn't know. But a mechanic is coming to fix it. Eh. Hey. So where? Where are you? I'm, uh, I'm on the road that we met. Okay. I'll be there right away. It's alright. Our people say that it's teaching time says so nine. That's the reason I've come to see you. To remind you of the crown prince presenting a bride before the next offer. You see, the, the, the cabinet chiefs have met and they sent me to remind you that the crown prince have just two weeks to present a bride with, to the royal council as the tradition demands. Oh no. You've spoken well. As a matter of fact, I'm uh, conversant with all you've said. However, I would like to make a rare request. And what could that be? Could you please help to shift the dates a little bit? Say for a fortnight. Your Majesty, you know that what you are asking for is quite difficult. This is a secured rights that is duly and timely uh, performed. You see, the Crown Prince that fails to, to present a bride on the due date definitely is unprepared to rule. And that disqualifies him from ascending the throne. Well, however, he can contest the crown. But you and I know that that is also a mission impossible. You know all this, Your Majesty. I know, I know. And that is why I am making this rare request. That is why I'm looking for a way for us to extend the date. The truth of the matter is that my son has not even found himself a girl that he can marry. As a matter of fact, he's not even dating any girl as we speak. You see my predicament? I'm very sorry. This is not really good at all. It is really unfortunate that it is not good for a crown prince not to have a bride before the due date. He had all the time to himself. It's not as if he was under duress. So what?
So this is what I would have gotten myself into. God forbid. I'd rather remain single than marrying a girl born out of incest. Never. My father would have seen a reason to back up his stance concerning picking a bride for me. Thank God I escaped this bump. What in God's name is going on? What did that evil woman tell him that's making him ignore me? He couldn't even look at my face. And now he's not taking my calls? What did she tell him? But he could have at least talked to me about it. What are you doing out here all alone by this time of the night? I've been looking for you everywhere. Nebechi! Nebechi! What is it? Why are you crying? I've been standing here for over 30 seconds and you didn't notice me. Oh, really? Yes. Just you were thinking deeply. What's bothering you? What's on your mind, son? No, nothing. Nothing. I'm fine. I'm fine. Hmm. Trust me, I'm good. Nothing to worry about. Yes. Nothing. You're fine. And yet, you're here at this time of the night in deep talks. Grandma, if it's something so serious, I will tell you. Yeah, I will tell you, but it's nothing to worry about, so I'm fine. Anthony, you're lying and you know it. Hmm? If you don't want to talk about it, I understand. Whenever you're ready to talk, I'll be available. But for now, please, go in. It's late in the night. I'm right behind you, Grandma. Fine. So you mean you actually saw her discussing with Prince Anthony? And they both left. Immediately they saw me. What would she have told him? You wouldn't know. Whatever it is, he should have at least talked it over with me. They're keeping me in the dark. Ngozi is at it again. Ngozi. Ngozi, what do you really want to achieve with all this? Huh? My daughter, I suggest you pay him a visit. Please. Huh? Are you sure he will give me audience? Because he's not even taking my calls. Because I have been calling and calling and calling him. And he's not taking my calls. You wouldn't know until you try. Huh? That woman is evil. She must have said so many ugly things about you to spoil his mind. Yes! But you need to set things right. And you wouldn't do that 
standing and crying here. <laughs> you need to visit him. Please, my daughter. Huh? You need to visit him. Oh, you know, go now. Stop crying. Stop crying. Stop crying. Stop. Stop crying. It's okay. It's okay. Let's go in. Let's go in. Let's go in. Stop crying. Stop crying. You know? But that's a lie. It's not true. Tell me. Tell me that you're not aware. That the man you're living with is not your father. No, tell me. Okay, Nakako. The man I am living with is my father, of course. It's Chebe. Oh, you're such a blood and liar. Yes. What baffles me is that you knowing all these things without doing anything. That means you're not better than your mother. Stop. Stop. Just stop it already, please. That woman has always hated my mother and I. And that's why she lied to you. The hatred made her to expose what could have been a calamity to me and the entire Okora family. So go and sort yourself out with your mother and your uncle and let me be. This is not fair. Chicken, is he fair? The situation you and your mother are putting me into is what is not fair. Do you understand? Right now, leave this place before I push you out. I'm calling you about to throw you away. Leave now. It's me. No problem. Frog Hordy. Kangaroo. I saw someone in the bitch crying. What happened? Crocodile tears. What? Now talk to me. What happened? Good. There is an adage which says, He who laughs last, laughs the best. You and your mother were laughing before now. Now it is my turn to laugh, and I will laugh the very, very best. Yes. I will laugh and laugh and laugh and laugh and continue to laugh. I'm not fear. You will cry until. You begin to know who your father is. Exactly. And you believe that? I have no reason not to believe it. 
I mean, it was very clear. Son, there's something I must tell you. There's need to let you know that. You've not said anything all this while. You said you want to tell me something. Okay. Who's coming? Is it King? Pick his call. No, go ahead with the discussion. I'll talk to him later. No, okay. son. Talk to your father no, no, first. I'll, I'll call we'll... him back. Mm -mm. Talk to your father first. We'll finish up the discussion later in the night. Excuse me. Long live the king. Anthony, what is wrong with you? Huh? I've been calling your line since yesterday and you refuse to pick in my course? But I just picked my call now. I wasn't with my phone all this while. Well, I'll pretend I didn't hear that because I have a bigger issue to handle right now. Now, I need to see you here by tomorrow. Unfailingly, we have something very important to attend to. Father, whatever it is, we can talk it over the phone. Besides, I'm not done with the vacation yet. Ah, come on, don't be ridiculous. I need to see you here tomorrow. Now, let me remind you. I am not only your father, I am your king. So you must be here by tomorrow. Is that understood? But father, what if I had traveled out of the country? And there is no flight to take you back to Nigeria? Dad, so Dad, see, I've, I've heard what you said. I've heard you. But I'm not going to return immediately. Yes, I'm not going to return immediately. And I wouldn't want to get any pressure from you, nor Grandma. And also, I will not hesitate to go elsewhere. If I do not get the peace here. Anthony, nobody is going to mount pressure on you to do anything. But I'm sure you are intelligent and smart enough to read the handwriting on the wall and do the needful. Okay? What? Oh my God! So he said Ngozi told him all that? Yes, Mama. Hey! Ngozi! Ngozi, has he gone Why is that this Ngozi, Ngozi, and tell me what I need to know? Who am I? Who is my father? Explain to me it's what I heard, Drew. Clementi, have you gone mad? I thought we have resolved this. Because we haven't. Tell me what I need to know, the whole truth. How come you are about outfit and I am dark in complexion? How come my grand uncle would accept to keep saying he is my father? Who am I? Just tell me already, Mama. Tell me who am I? Can you hear yourself Who's talk? Who's my father? Can you hear yourself talk? How can your grand uncle be your father? I don't eh? know. Maybe you Maybe tell me. How possible is that? Oh, I'm asking you. I How need, possible is I need it? answers. No questions. No questions. Who is my father? Betty, will you stop that rubbish? Stop it! What is wrong with you? Huh? In Apuara? Mama, just tell me, tell me who I am! Who is my father? Did you actually I sleep with... Okay. I will not take this. I can't take it again! Mbazi! 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 Who is that? Who is that? You must tell dog? me today how my uncle got me pregnant. Ngozi. Yes, again. Yes, you must explain to me today, oh? Ngozi. Uh, or what? Is it me you are asking? What will you do if I do not explain to you? What? Just tell me what you can do or what, what you want to do. Oh! No, I'm asking you. If I don't tell you now, what will you do? Okay! So your daughter is now asking you 
to tell her who her father is. Eh? Hey, hey! Bia, 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 bia. You better tell her the truth now. Tell her the truth now because you know who she is. You know now, you know who she is. Ngozi, so it has gotten to the extent of gossiping with my name. Ngozi, you must tell me and you must explain. Ngozi, where do you think you are going? I'm asking you and you are stepping out. Yeah. Eh? Are you walking out on me? Ngozi, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not laughing. I'm not laughing with you, I'm not joking. Leave my rapper. Leave, leave who? Leave my rapper. to me. You have started to leave my rapper. Ngozi. Somebody should call her now. Somebody should call her. Is anybody in this cup? Come and hold her. Ngozi, let, listen. You are trying to. I'm not, I'm not laughing with you. you not I'm, laughing not laughing you. With you. Yes. I'm not laughing with you. Yes. You are not I'm laughing with you. Yes. You are not laughing with Ngozi. me. You, you, eh? you are not laughing with Yes, I'm not laughing with you. Ngozi. 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 Is it me? Yeah. Mm -mm, nah. This is the height of it. Ngozi must explain how my uncle got me pregnant. Else. This whole house will not contain the two of us. This house has never contained the both of us before. It has never. So the earlier you begin to leave, the better for you. Because will you stop that nonsense? I say stop. How could you make such wide uh, accusation of my wife? Huh? Wild accusation? Let her deny it. Deny what? Nay, did you hear her? But let me, did, 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 did you hear her? Now, Ngozi, let me ask you, what do you stand to gain with all this? Oh, to set the record very straight. Very, very straight. And to remove you from the shame you brought upon yourself when you brought her into this house. Then why did you two tell me before going around the village to speak such lies against my wife? Why did you two tell the me? Once I told you before, what did you do about it? Did you do anything? So why are you expecting me to tell you anything now? No, tell me. Ngozi, listen. You always get away with everything you do in this house, but not on this one. This time around, you have eaten more than your stomach can contain. There is I'm not, nothing. I'm my... not keeping quiet in this one, no night. Listen, 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 listen. Let me just tell you, Jim, there is nothing, nothing on this earth that my stomach cannot contain. Okay, yes, okay. yes. So oh. there is nothing it cannot contain, especially when it has to do with you. You are too small. Eh. Yes. All right, we shall see. We are not seeing anything, no. Don't be deceived because we are not seeing anything. The only thing we will see is when you and your daughter begin to pack your load and leave this house. Huh? Yes. Nine. Okay, forget. Did you hear her? Did you hear her, Nine? Come what down. I'm not coming any down. Because I've been keeping quiet for you in this house. This time I will not keep quiet for you. There is something. This time I will not keep quiet. There is something. There is something. There is something. There is something. We will we will take it. There is something you can do. Come on. Are you and what can we do for you? My name is Sarah Kosa Zemina. I'm here to see Amaka. Oh, so you are the unfortunate one that we are talking about. Unfortunate yes. one? What do you mean by that? Who are you to her? I'm her boyfriend. As a matter of fact, we've gone past the level of boyfriend and girlfriend. I plan making her my wife very soon. Maybe I shouldn't say this. <gasps> But someone needs to put an end to this madness mm. they call business. Mm. Yes. What madness are you talking about? What business? Well, the person you intend making your wife is only preparing you for business. Yes. All she does is to bring in a man and introduce to her mother. 
the next thing they will milk you dry with whatever charm they use and throw you away immediately your pocket is empty what it might interest you that they just left to see their letters catch off yes it, it, it might Even, yes now uh, because i overheard her telling her mother that they should let him go because someone else is coming here Oh, okay, that one, that fair one that came. That's what they, they, I had them say. The fair one that they just went to see. Yeah, okay. they just left. Oh. So you are their next victim, Ekwa. Even the one that came yesterday now. You know he was shouting. Uh, they were complaining. Saying that uh, they milked him dry and discarded him like that. Uh, was that the reason she insisted I come visit her here? So uh, this has been her plan all along. Uh, wait. Are you talking to us? No, 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 I'm not talking to you. Thank you. Thank you very much for the kind gesture you've shown me. I really appreciate it. Because... Hold on, hold on, hold on a bit. In case if she denies it, tell her I was the one that told you. Inugo, Ogba, go say I know I'm a Kiki Sifia. Trust your mother. How did you get this idea? In a, in a sim, how did you get this idea? Lady Kwashapo. Yes, now. I have been underestimating you all this while. Oh, oh, oh better don't I, underestimate me again. I know what I know. What's 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 I know. <laughs> Ngozi, Ganu, I'm out for her. Yes, now. I'm out for her. Hello? 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 Hold it there. Who is your baby? Who is your baby? What? Yo, yo, you didn't know I would be coming by this time, right? Because you are busy doing all that business, right? You think I won't come by this time, isn't it? See off your victims, of course. Listen, let me tell you something. The woman in there has told me everything I need to know about you and your evil mother. How you people bring in men and use your evil charm to dry them their pocket, then you send them off the streets like a filth. And exactly what you intend to do with me, right? You think I will not find out? You have failed. <laughs> How? Why wouldn't I believe her? Just tell me one reason I shouldn't believe her. Listen to me. And listen very, very carefully this time around. Don't ever, ever in your life call my number again. Are you listening to me? Rubbish. Stupid girl. Bodies. Jingwei! 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 Come out here! Come out here! Come out here! Come out here! Fast! Fast, come out! Oh, give me. What did you tell my daughter? Oh, what is the okay anyway? It looks like the message has already been delivered to the ears of whom it was meant for. Oh yeah. Mama, you are an idiot. You are an idiot. You are an idiot too. You are an idiot. You are an idiot too. You think, I am too? You think this is a moonlight story? Okay. You, uh, do you think I'm joking? Chingwe, what exactly did you tell my daughter's visitor? Exactly what he needed to hear. I would love to say more if only I can see him again. Eh? When is he coming back to this house? Get more garbage. You are an evil woman. You are an evil girl. You are very wicked. You are wicked girl. You are very mean. You are mean girl. Look at you. A mother like you. Chingwe, how dare you? You dared me first. And I am out to reply you. You've not seen the end of it, though. Ngozi, it's a number one kitty. I am ready to reply you. You've not seen the end of it.
Oh, my son. Sorry I kept you waiting. Rama, are you sure you're ready for this? Yes, I am. Let's go. Yet. I will so deal with you. I will so deal with you. You will not believe me. On the floor. Mm -hmm. From the floor. Mm -hmm. Bring it on. Okay. Yes, I said bring it on. Okay. Let me show you the stuff I am made of. Okay. Now you have seen how it hurts, eh? Okay, if you go go say a fofo. Or the maid too. What is this this time? Eh? What is this madness all about in my house? This witch, this witch of a woman told my daughter Suto lies about me and my daughter. What did she lie about this time? Papa, she told him that my mother and I are into the business of men. And we use charm to extort money from them and discard them afterwards. Papa, that is what your witch of a wife said. What? Uh -huh. Same way your witch of a mother told my fiancé that I'm a product of incest. Will you, will you, will you, will you shut your mouth? What will you do? Shut it up. What will you do? Say, shut it up. Okay, ah. me. She is your daughter. God forbid! God forbid! God forbid! God forbid! God forbid! I will never give birth to a bastard! I cannot be a mother! Yeah. Which? God forbid! Which? She is not a bastard. She is your biological daughter. Huh? Uh, wait, wait, wait. Madam Peace. What do you mean by my daughter is her biological daughter? God forbid. I think it is high time we all talked about this. What in God's name is wrong with you? Ma? Did you say ma? I instructed you to take the pills to the patient in words to you. It's over 40 minutes since I gave you that instruction. What is wrong with you? Ma. I'm so sorry for what I've done. Sorry for what? What are you talking about? Huh? It's not even about what just happened, but about what happened before. And it has been killing me. I, I want to confess. Confess what? What are you talking about? Confess what? It's about the two women that gave birth a month ago through CS. Uh -huh. What about them? Ma, after the babies were washed and put in their respective beds, mm -hmm. you instructed that the fair complexion woman would be put beside her baby wrapped in white cloth. Mm -hmm. Why did that complexion woman would be put beside her baby wrapped in black cloth? And what happened? <laughs> I forgot a switched bed for them. What? You did what? I actually ran back to the world when I realized it was on getting there. They were already bounding with the babies. And I was afraid because of the enmity between them. Oh, and you kept this away from me all this while? It's been over a month since they gave birth here, for God's sake. Hi. What am I going to do now? How do I take care of these things? Oh, how best do I go about this? Hmm? Think, 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 think. 
I think I have to see them immediately. I think I have to see them immediately. <sighs> Just pray. Just pray they resolve this amicably. Else! Madam, peace. What are you saying? Nebechi is your daughter. And Amaka here is Chinwes. Hey! Madam Peace, why didn't you come here or send for my brother since 25 years to resolve this issue? I rushed down here immediately. But that was when I had that accident that almost took my life. You all know that I was in coma for four years until my husband took me to the States for proper medication. I came back, developed complications, and was taken back to the States. <sighs> when I came back now, four years back, my late daughter's husband insisted that I stay with them in Okwara village so that they will have close monitor on me. I've been back to our own village here for about two years now, but honestly, I didn't know how to start going about all this. But it was giving me sleepless nights, it was. But here we are today. Here. This is a mystery. Hi. Finally, the bastard happens to be my daughter. Actually, she looks like me, you know. But the hatred for her mother did not allow me to see it. Please, my child, come and hug your mother. So, Amaka, you are really my daughter. Chingwe. I am sorry for everything that I have done to you all these years. Please, forgive me. Same here, Ngozi. Please forgive me for everything. Thank you for taking care of my daughter. Thank you too for taking care of my daughter, Mama Nebechi. Mama Amaka. Ichebe, I'm truly sorry for everything. It was never intentional. Please find a place in your heart to forgive me. This would have been a costly mistake in some cases. But here it has brought joy in my house. A bond that can hardly be broken. Nebechi. You see, I am sorry for... It's okay. I mean... Your decision was quite rash. But I understand. Nebechi... Ibe. It is going to be a great honor. If you would accept to be my wife. Waste one more second and my answer would be no! <laughs> uh, 
Fighting cannot serve this situation. If Quarreling cannot serve this situation. If It's only love. If Only love. If It's only love. But keep your distance from people who we never and meet they are Cause they will always try to make it feel like it's all your fault. Oh.